Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the inner world, the last wind monk. Now this was developed by Studio Fizzbin, published by Calypso Media, and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99 US a dollar. But it's free right now for the month of May into half of June if you have Xbox Game with Gold. If not, then just wait for AMS sales. So, we play as Music Magpie Wizard Robert Flute Nose Wangbag. I know his name, first name's Robert, I don't know about the rest. As we, playing three years from the original first Inner World game, have to now save the world from another evil wannabe called a meal. A meal. Yes, not very villainy, just makes you sound hungry all the time. Still, it is just as fun as the first one, and achievements aren't that too difficult either. There's a few easy missable ones and story related ones as usual to look out for, but mainly we have to make sure to do a few things. First up, never ever press the left trigger button up to get a hint. Never. If you do accidentally either totally quit out of the game or just do not under any circumstance press the A button to get an actual hint up. Apparently pressing it, uh, pressing left trigger is okay as long as you don't press the A button to get up a hint. Secondly, we need to speak to absolutely everyone in the game. Some twice, some thrice. There's not that many flute nose wang bags in the game, but we need to make sure to speak to everyone. Otherwise, it's a fun game that can take around two to three hours to begin. So, with that being said, then let us begin. We're just going to skip with the A button to uh, skip all the cutscenes and dialogue and stuff like that. Now, this game is a bit weird. We'll press the B button there to uh, not bother with the game controls. But what you have to do is. Um, uh, press the right or left bumper to get up the hotspot. So you can't go up to something and press the A button. You've got to go up to something and press the A button. Uh, press the right bumper button and then the A button to get it to begin. So press the right bumper, go over to the vine and press A to peck it. Then go down to the ant hill just below and then press A again as you can see. Normally we'll just be uh, using the use interaction which will mostly be on the left for this little bird which is called peck. And for the rest will be on the right. But grab the depetrifying eye from the bottom right hand corner. So yeah, when you go up to things, you have to press the right bumper to get up the hot spot. Then you can do what you want with it. So go up to the door on the top left hand corner. And then interact with that again just by pressing the A button. Usually twice right there. Then when that one is done, we're going to interact with the plant above it. There we go, and then we're going to drown him. There we go. Lizard's just minding his own day, and what are we going to do? We're going to drown him out, mate. We want some lizard. We want a lizard sandwich, bro. Better than a crisp sandwich. Actually, no, there's nothing better than a crisp sandwich. Or it, if you're an American, that's called a chip sandwich for some reason. Ch chips are fries. Chips are chips. Anyway, we'll um, keep interacting with the plant anyway, drowning out the lizard. We'll come back to the Britain versus American argument thing later on. So, when we get that achievement then, we can go over to the eye cover right here and grab that one. That'll pop out a bunch of wires. Now, what we need to do... So, grab the both petrifying eyes there. Again, using left bumper and right bumper to go in your hot spot. Now, we're going to need to go into our inventory. So, grab the two petrifying eyes. Then, you need to press the Y button to go into your inventory, which should pop up at the bottom. Press the A button on the D petrifying eye, which is the blue one. Now, to use items with other items, you need to go up to the plus mark and then throw it onto whatever you want. So, obviously, we need to put the D petrifying eye with the eye socket. Now we're going to peck the door, which is next to Robert, which is the statue just below. So yeah, that's what you have to do with the inventory then. Press the white button, use the plus symbol, and then you've just got to go left and right with the left stick to put it onto whatever you want. Uh, so we'll use the door there. We've <laughs> the lizard out again. He's like, you ain't making a lizard sandwich out of me. Go fudge yourself, buddy. Now we're going to use the petrifying eyes on both of the feeding flowers that are empty. So again, go into your inventory, press the Y button, use the plus mark, and then you have to use the left stick to put it into one of the two feeding flowers. If you're not close enough, as you can tell, it's not going to work, <laughs> annoyingly, so you actually have to get close enough. So, press Y, back into your inventory, press A, press on the plus symbol, and then use it on the feeding flower. And you have to do the other one with the feeding flower as well. If you don't, then the flowers are just going to troll you, take the piss out of you, and sort of pass it between themselves. So you, as a, what looks like a high off magic mushroom bird, uh, KFC we'll call him, he's not going to get much 
uh, he's not going to get far. So we're going to take the depetrifying eye now from the left side flower, or whatever flower it's in for you. We're going to use the depetrifying eye in the eye socket. Depi. Mmm, pie. Uh, use the depetrifying eye. Then we're going to pick the button just above the eye sockets. So again, just uh, press the sort of use button, whatever that one is. And that is going to get Robert Flute Nose Wangbag out of his current predicament, as it were. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, in this game, unlike the first Inner World game, we can skip cutscenes. This time you can't. You can just spa uh, spam the A button to get through the dialogue. That's pretty much all you can do. Who you are? Don't you remember that you're a flute nerd, the son of the king? Conroy kidnapped you 18 years ago. Conroy? What am I supposed to do with you, Rob? You're going to sit down and... And what's with all those flowers? Robert, my boy. But it's no one... No one wanted you. But now, now come. Yeah. Yes, but you defeated him. Chin up. I just felt that... Me I would go so far as to say... What was that? What? Who are you talking to? <laughs> now, stop daydreaming and pay... Oh. Exactly. Ra the legend of harmony. But he who shall... You must find him. Saved. Said. Wait. All right. The last wind monk can be found on the number eight car. I got it. You're complete. Stop it. You're never. Concentrate, Robert. You'll never see. So if we hit in the left stick, we can now switch our characters. So we got Wangbag versus KFC. So now what we can do is um, again. So if we pop it in, we can now go as Robert. Robert is free. So, first thing we're going to do then, we're going to switch to Peck again, so get our KFC bird looking lovely up, interact with the heavy fruit there at the top right hand corner, and now we're going to go back to the left and take the two deep, depetrifying eyes from the Brazilian, or the Brazilian, uh, so take the two depetrifying eyes, leave the petrifying eyes in the flowers, but um, yes, this is called a, a Brazilian, what we're messing around with right here, the Brazilian, the Brazilian Brazilian. Anyway, take the two depetrifying eyes, and we need to use the depetrifying eyes with the empty feeding flower. So pop, uh, so pop it into the left right here. So pop that one in. Then we need to grab one of the petrifying eyes. So no, not exactly what I'm doing right here. So make sure the depetrifying eye is in one of the flowers. Then go ahead and take a petrifying eye from one of the other flowers. And there we go. So I managed to get the uh, memo after all. So then you grab that. Then, you need to replace that with the depetrifying eye. Deep. Deep and petrifying. That is what they call my mother. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. I like my mother. Right, with that one done, now we can go and take the petrifying eye, which should be in the uh, right-hand side feeding flower right here. There we go. And then when that is done, we can use both of those petrifying eye eyes with the Brazilian's eye sockets. So eventually, eventually, I'm going to start turning left. Try and, <laughs> try and get away from the colonel. He's trying to kill you, Peck. There we go. So we finally got there then. So use the petrifying eyes with both of the eye sockets. Yeah, the whole inventory and the whole right bumper hotspot thing can take, you know, a couple of minutes to get used to. But, well, you'll learn to... You'll always think how you never lived without it. So after the two petrifying eyes are in, interact with the button above the eye sockets. And the fern should release. If it doesn't, um, just release the water from the lower door and try again. The lower door where we found Robert as a statue earlier. So that's if it doesn't release. If it does release, then we're all good. Now we're going to switch to Robert. We're going to grab the tusk, which is in the left, just between the two flowers. So I tell you what, again, taking all this stuff with nobody, uh, nobody taking a piss, we can make some money off this stuff. So we're going to take the stone fern which fell earlier on. We're going to grab that one from the right. We're going to take the heavy fruit as well. Again, mate, whatever you're shoving that piece of ball sack heavy fruit, I'm impressed. Plus, I don't really want to see that. We're going to use the stone fern with the crack, just to where Robert is now. So, use the stone fern, stick, the, stick it in the crack. Well, you know how that's going to go. Uh, now we're going to <laughs> grab the heavy fruit. Or the tusk, sorry. We're going to put the tusk in first. So we've got to put the tusk 
which looks long and hard, into the crack, which looks small enough. Then we're going to use the heavy fruit Maybe with the I tusk. So, um, um, I don't even know what to say about that one. So if you're ever in a stuck situation, just whip your ball and, you know, give it a whack. That's all I'm going to say about that one. <laughs> right. So with that one done, we are into the next area. And we've got another couple of people that we're going to st uh, start talking to. I'm going to talk to you about the blabbermouth situation as well now. Uh, so as soon as we smash through all this bit of dialogue for a second. To the nose. That's enough. The third. I think Robert. You can just call me Robin. Sure thing, Your Grace, but you need to be careful. Anyone with... Thanks. I can't believe that you're... I knew you way... Quite an ugly... What's happened, these... I made sketches of everything. You had just saved us all. And I thought... And then he sh Everyone thought we were evil, and that we had summoned the Bas- And that Conroy had perished in one large- But Conroy is the one who built the Bas- Try telling that to an angry mob. We're officially- What? Yep. They think Con- Some of us were able to get away. Since then, it's been so Nowhere is safe for us- So there's still some flute notes. I hope so. You haven't happened to see my little- No, I'm so sorry. The legend of- Yes, exactly. I have to get to the other side. Well, we have a cable car here that... Ah, there's nothing that can't be... I knew you'd come... So then, for the Blabbermouth achievement, what you need to do then is, again, use the hotspot, and there will be a talk symbol right there. Uh, it will usually be on the right every time you get it up. Uh, at the hotspot. Anyway, so the Blabbermouth. Again, we have to speak to everyone. Now, a lot of the times... We will be just choosing specific dialogue. It doesn't matter. You can smash through all of the dialogue options if you want to. It really doesn't matter. Um, but there will be sometimes that you speak to someone and our character will only say like one sentence. That does count towards a blabbermouth. So if you so if you think it seems a little weird and a bit silly, it's not. He might just one of them might just say I don't want to disturb him or I don't want to talk to him. That counts. So just be aware of that one. Um, so that will be, that is basically the first one. Anyway, that is the first one that Libretta had done. Um, and the second one will be this guy, Humpernickel. Wow, what a name. Fantastic. So you can speak to him again if you want. It'll be the same thing. Sometimes we have to say just certain dialogues to certain people in order to move on as quick as you can. Or, like I said, you can just smash the dialogue out. Uh, smash all the options out with no problems. Um, as long as you spoke to them at least once, it will count. Um, also, there will be numerous times, like I said, through the game, we'll have to speak to people as different people. So, we've already spoken to Libretta as Robert, for instance. We'll need to speak to Libretta on the right there as Laura later on. So, just because you've spoken to them once doesn't mean that you don't have to speak to them again. So, again, that's another thing to be wary of. Otherwise, we can just crack on with that explanation done. We're going to grab the No Flute poster from the right-hand side. Ooh. That's harsh. I like flutes. But uh, we get a thumbtack anyway. Next, we're going to take the tumble mouse, which is next to the tusk. Like tusk, lie. tusk, tusk. Uh, we're going to grab the tumble mouse, and he's on the left-hand side. So, you know, you're not exactly going to be... Unless you've got a flute that extends. <laughs> if you see something that, um, you know, arouses your nose suspicions, as it were. Otherwise, we'll grab the tumble mouse, which kind of looks like sheep, but it's a mouse with sheepskin on it. Grab him from the left, then we're going to take the tusk. Tusk, tusk. Now we can switch the peck. Remember, just press in the left stick to uh, switch the peck. We're going to peck the tumble mouse, uh, which is just to the right, just above the scissors. So again, use your hotspot, right bumper, left bumper. Mate, get away from the colonel, he's after your ass. And then we're, again... For peck with the bird, there's only going to usually be one option, and that is to pretty much peck stuff. So, uh, you know, it's what birds do best, apart from right. bring diseases to you, just like rats. Anyway, with that one, as Robert, we uh, have just picked up the tumble mouse. He'll do that automatically. Now we're going to go to the wacky stuff store. When we switch to Robert, enter the store on the left, the wacky wow. stuff store. Now, here is the third blabbermouth. Now, I haven't tagged it down in my timestamps. Um, 
Because it's more, I was just going through sort of a little tutorial, little explanation of how the blabbermouth achievement will work. Um, so, But I'll start tagging them just a little bit later on. For now, we're going to grab the sponge just underneath the chalkboard by the door, which is pretty much just another sheep mouse. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we've also, also got the chewing gum and dental floss. We'll grab them automatically. Next, we're going to grab the darts um, from the bottom of the screen here. Now... What you have to do is pretty much just grab three darts. This little cutscene is going to happen, and we are going to grab the achievement called If at first you don't succeed, fail, fail again. So just keep grabbing the darts and keep going through this until the achievement unlocks, and you'll realize what a failure you are in life. Unlucky! Ah, so you want to try your luck at Dart? Not even these dots. Are Too bad for you. These things don't. Have now it has to be said, some of these achievements can be very delayed. So what I've tended to do is just wait around for about 10 seconds or so until the achievement unlocks, and then we should be good to go. So what we're going to do now is speak to the shop guy. Again, this will count, so technically you should now be on three already, but again, I haven't put it in my timestamps. We're going to speak to the two people outside, and we're going to speak to the shopkeeper again a little bit later on to basically properly start it. Um, but that will technically be three. So, when we're done here, let's go back to the town square through the door. We're going to switch to a little uh, pecking, our little KFC pecking, and we're going to enter the cart entrance in the top right. So what we're going to do, we're going to peck the button in front of Molly. So Molly is the only person working here. We're going to peck the button. She doesn't seem to be too bothered that we're just, you know, ruining her day. <laughs> now we're going to peck the vat on the bottom of the screen. Um, we, uh, it's right, right at the bottom. It's th that thing. Yeah, vat. Gong. <laughs> Gong. Gong it up, bro. Now we're just going to be told to sit there and not move. So we can just click in the left stick. To move to Big Roberto, the old wangbag. Again, I, I, his name's pretty. I'm sh pretty sure his name's not wangbag, but uh, you know why not? It's <laughs> nothing wrong with a wangbag. It's funny to me, right? So we'll automatically get a piece of cheese that's been incredibly thrown in the wall. That is a darts player and a half. So we're going to grab the cheese wedge as Robert from the middle of the screen. Next, we're going to interact with the minecart to get inside that. So there it is again. Sometimes that's the only problem with these hotspot things. Sometimes you could be looking at what, looking for one thing for ages, but if you're not close to it, it doesn't appear. Eh. Now we know what we have to do is use three tumble mice that we've got in our inventory. So again, press the Y button, press the plus button, and then use it on yourself. And eventually, it's going to work. There it is. So use it with Robert. What What are you doing with those mice, sheep, Robert? My God, you can't do that. You'll be arrested. No, I'm just joking. Uh, he's covering us up. So what we're going to do is switch to peck, and we're going to peck the pedal just next to the minecart. And with that done, we are into the shearing factory. So, I mean, mice aren't as tasty as sheep, but um, <gasps> just joking, vegans. I love all that, you know, homemade rubber that you do. It's, it's delicious. You call it beef when it's actually just, you know, homemade rubber on the floor and stuff. Still very delicious. Don't you worry. I, I like vegan stuff too. Love noodles and jail legs. I know. I've, I've said that joke before, but I can't think of anything else right now. So when we are here, we're going to go to the roof in the top right hand corner. Molly doesn't appear to notice us. Now what we're going to do, uh, we are going to switch to peck and grab the sock from the bottom left hand corner. I haven't switched to peck because I, apparently I think Robert's got an extending flute nose, but it's always that small. <laughs> Unlucky, you Roberto. So, <laughs> right, speak to Peck in KFC right there. Grab the sock from the bottom left. And then we need to switch to Roberto and grab the metal cover, which is basically right there in the middle of the screen. Now, again, of course, Big Peck Dog is not going to do it. And he's going to disapprovingly give us a no. Screw you. So, switch to Robert, grab the metal cover. And job done. Now, we can use the cheese wedge with the doorway. For some reason, this cheese is so stale, mouldy, and disgusting that it is so hard 
that it just acts as a door wedge, which is incredible. So use that then, use the cheese wedge with the doorway. And then we can use the tusk. Use the tusk, tusk. Yeah! With the gears. There they are, the gears, pretty much only gears. Now this is where I'm going to start at putting down the whole blabbermouth um, stuff on the timestamps. Because we're going to go up to the left. Again, you don't go through automatically. You have to press right bumper and left bumper to whap out the hotspots. And we are going to go further up. There it is. <laughs> so we got there eventually. So go up. Now we're going to talk to the tied up guy. So before you do anything, because a lot of these can be very missable, go ahead, interact with the tied up guy and speak to him with, of course, the speech bubble on the right. Um, we're gonna. We're just going to basically say both. So use the windmill and then the cable car. You don't have to speak to him about absolutely everything. So usually I will just tell you what we need to say in order to progress. Of course, it does matter because you've already spoken to him. That will count as a blabbermouth. So using the windmill and the cable car options, which means uh, Robert will get a ticket. Apparently, we're not going to save the day. We're just going to leave him tied up. Well, that's what happens when you go on your stag do, buddy. Dressed as a postman with a bendy, you know, flute nose. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... From here, we've spoken to the tied up guy. We are now going to go down. And we can now take the tusk, which is in the gears. I mean, you literally could have used the tusk just to slice him off. But uh, there we go. We're going to leave the guy. We're going to grab the cheese wedge as well. And then we are going to enter the shearing factory and then go to the town square, which will be at the bottom left door. Sorry about that, mole dogs. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> it's just what happens when you look this good anything can happen uh -huh. when you got a flute nose which is about an inch long uh, nothing can happen right so back into the town square this is again is where i'm going to add the timestamps for the blabbermouth so we're going to speak to humpernickel again which is on the left and it's always worth just doing it you know just in case speaking to them once speaking to them no. twice to do it just in case because there's no chapter select or anything like that so you'd have to go through the whole game once again so for Hemmenickel you can choose any um, topic you want and then you can just press the B button to quit out you can see where you can back out because it's under my Welsh hunter sign so my bad my bad um, we are going to speak to Libretta who is on the right so this will be our third out of 34 and we can use the postcard option so like I said earlier, smash through it if you want, but usually what we're going to do is just choose a specific dialogue option to nip on. And this time it will be the postcards. So again, don't don't go, <laughs> try not to go too mad because you'll end up speaking to her in a loop for a thousand years. And we ain't got that much time. So now we're going to use the cable car ticket. Which should be on the right and we're going to use that on Libretta. It's a nice name. I want to see her hair. Hmm. Right, Robert's going to get a new ticket. And then what we can do after this bit, we can go on the right, we can go to the right to the cable car station. So after the bit of dialogue right here, it's all done. So the cable car station is just by the shearing factory right next to it, in fact. So nip on through there. Now what we're going to do is speak to our delicious KFC looking bird. Again, obviously clicking in the left stick. We're going to use the dental floss with the mechanical pulley which is just to the left of the cable car, or just to the right, sorry. Or to the, yeah, just to the right. So there we go. So we're going to use um, the dental floss, use it with that. And the weird looking bird, which comes pretty much from, you know, you know all the backstreet chicken stuff? Yeah, the ones that give you diarrhea and AIDS. That's what that bird looked like. But when that one is done, as Peck, you can uh, speak with the nest or you can interact with the nest. Robert will take the nest and he will take the tea strainer with it. Then we can switch to Roberto. There we go. And we can use the chewing gum with the screws, which is just on the top left corner of the gold Conroy head. So on the cable car is the Conroy head. Use the chewing gum with those screws and Robert's going to receive the screw imprint. Screw you imprint, as it were. Next, what we can do is use the cover with the boom holder. Now, the boomer holder is that little thing on the right which sort of just holds the gate down. The boomer holder is your granddad complaining that there are too many foreigners in my country these days. Eh. Oh, Boris Johnson, he's doing a great job for Britain. Eh. That's a boomer. 
Uh, but use the cover there with the boom holder. Then interact with the boom gate. Not once, but twice. And that's going to leave a little uh, bent. Bentness in the cover. So we're going to pick up the bent cover. And then we're going to use the bent cover that we got with the same boom holder. Yeah, hey, Tory, Brexit. Yeah, I love it. Uh, so after that one, we can now interact with the boom gate on the left twice again, and what that's going to do is give us a curvy cover. Oh, don't you don't don't say the word curvy to Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. Oh God, he'd uh, oh he'd have a bloody heart attack. And if you don't know what I mean, just Google Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. He is douchebaggery. Um, <laughs> from his latest tweet before he deleted it for getting millions of backlash. Right now, back in the town square, we're going to go into the shearing factory. Of course, which is just by the cable car bit. So into the shearing factory, we're going to speak to Molly. So make sure to speak to Molly. She seems very bored. That's my perfect idea of a job, sitting on my ass all day doing nothing. But speak to Molly uh, to get Blabbermouth 4 out of 34. Plus what we're going to do is speak to her and use the dialogue options, cable car. And we're going to use the cable car option twice. So here's the first time, and then when we speak to her again, use the cable car option again. There it is. And then after this one, we're going to talk to her about the cable car tools. So make sure to interact with her about the cable car tools, so that will be blabbermouth number four. And after this, we can just press the B button to back out. Um, you can speak to her about anything else, but again, does not make a lick of difference. We can, now, we can now use the screw imprint. There it is. So use the chewing gum screw imprint with Molly herself. I got this for you. You look pretty. Here's some chewed up chewing gum. That's what I thought your face looked like. A face only a mother would love. I'm just joking. I love you. So anyway, let's go back to the town square anyway. Um, we've got the screwdriver off Molly. Now, we need to return the screwdriver later on. That is for another achievement at the end of the game, but we'll come back to that. So we should have the screwdriver now. Back to the cable car station. We're going to use the screwdriver we just got with the screws. There we go. I'm just joking, by the way. I can't uh, have a look on... I can't speak about people's looks. I've got a face only a puppy would lick. And that's Bailey. Now we're going to go back to the town square. We are done in this area. We just managed to use the, um, we just managed to get the screws with the screwdriver. So we're going to go all the way to the left to go into the wacky stuff store. Right now we're going to put a few things together. We're going to use the sock with the T infuser in our inventory. Now this is the same thing. When we go into the sock, use the plus button and then just go over to the T infuser. That will automatically be put together. Now it just looks like a condom with a helmet on it. Job done. Right, that'll do. Right, now we can use the thumbtack that we've got in our inventory with the sock and T infuser. So slap that one on. Bammo! Now it just looks like a condom with an army helmet on. Job done. Now we are going to talk to the wacky stuff guy again. Of course, we have already spoken to him, but I'm putting it down in the timestamps like we've spoken to him, uh, speaking to him again. Uh, choose any topic you want. Doesn't make a difference. So this should technically be now number five out of 34. So you can speak to him about one thing. All things makes, once again, not a lot lick a difference as long as you've spoken to him once. But I just hate stuff where there's no chat to select because you, you get paranoid then that you haven't done enough. So now we're going to use the nest with the egg that we've got in our entry with the egg in the circular dialer, which is basically an egg on the table. So there we go. Use the nest with the egg and we can receive the circuit dialer. Next. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Baldo. Much appreciato. Next, we can use the circuit dialer with the sock with the spiked helmet. Or sock with a spiked helmet. So the circuit dialer with the sock with the spiked helmet to receive the dart costume. So now we've got a dart condom. Which, I tell you what, if, don't be using them in real life. Now we can use the dart costume with Peck. So there is Peck. You know who Peck is. We've been playing as him. Annoyingly, we have to <laughs> press the B button to go back to go a bit closer. Uh, annoying. But there we go. So use the condom dart costume with Peck. And then we can receive the Peck. The cup and ball toy. So after all this, we're just grabbing the cup and ball toy. That's, I mean, it seems like a bit of wasted effort for something that probably costs a squid.
Well, golly. Good job, Peck. Peck? That's... A My darts player name is... Ah. Let's get you up. You've earned the prize. I've never won. And there we go. So that one's done. Now we can go to the town square. And we're going to enter the shearing factory again. So there is one achievement that we're going to grab at, uh, at basically the end of the game. But it involves borrowing something and then returning it. So this first instance, we borrowed a screwdriver off Molly. So we need to give the screwdriver back to Molly. So this is very, very important. Make sure to give the things that we borrowed back. So the first one will be the screwdriver. The second one will be in chapter 3, which is a syringe. And the final one will be in chapter 6. Um, but if you end up missing one of these and you miss the achievement, again, you'll just have to replay the whole game. So, very important to do this. Make sure to give Molly her screwdriver back. Do it! Give her a screwdriver! And then what we can do is use the cup and ball toy with Molly. So that'll be the first out of three of the um, borrowed items we've given back and we've given her the cup and ball toy. Although it is a small town, you think she could just buy that for one dollar in the shopper? Evidently not. So, uh, we've got the lever off her now. Now we can go back to the town square and go back to the cable car station. Uh, coming up to the end... Yeah, no, we've got quite a few things to do, actually. No, ignore that. Right, we're going to use the curvy cover, which is the with the gauge holder on the roof at the top of the right, uh, at the top right. Sorry, so use the curvy cover with the gauge holder. There it is, just next to Peck. Um, uh, well, obviously after getting, after being Peck. So become your KFC meal. And then eventually, for some reason, that seemed to confuse the crap out of me there for some reason. Then we can use the curvy cover <laughs> with the gauge holder and job done. So now we can just switch back to Roberto. And we're going to use the cable car ticket with the ticket stamper next to the cable car. So on the very left hand side, just above the pinwheel, use the cable car ticket with said ticket stamper. And now we can go to the control panel in the cable car. It's all kicking off. In order to save the world from total meals. Right, so what we can do is use the lever with the uh, gear shift on the left. Now, th stuff like this gets annoying. You have to, again, keep pressing the left bumper or right bumper to go into the hotspot. So we're going to interact with the shifter. And then press left bumper to go into the shifter again. Then press left bumper to go into the shifter again. And make sure that's all the way down with the sort of down arrow or the triangle, whatever you want to call that, or the little boat. Next, we're going to use the circlet dialer and put that in the middle. Now, what we need to do, we have to interact with the dial on the circuit dialer, which we uh, which we just done, and we need to put it basically in the two o'clock position. So, if you see um, the arrow pointing straight up, is the twelve o'clock position. The one next to that is the two o'clock position. And here's the missionary position. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. So. That is the 2 o'clock position. Right, next what we have to do, just to the right of the dial, we have to interact with, uh, we have to basically put the second and third button on. So turn the third, uh, second and third button on. That one is done. Now we can just um, interact with the throttle on the right hand side. Skablamo! And there we go then. No, in fact, I was right. That is the end. This is basically now the end of chapter one, so we can happily go into chapter two. By the way, I don't know why I made that fat noise with the missionary position. I got no idea. Still, enjoy the rest of the cutscene, and we can go on to chapter two. Hmm. His nose is striped, just like yours. Libretta. Halt. Are you an instru- No, I- uh, I'm the flute nose. <laughs> Arrest Do you have any other inform- No, but if there were any present- Libre. Go and see if you can- Soon, Conroy will be- I'm so sorry. Laura, Laura, Laura. I'll get you to talk. So again, achievement will be delayed, but there it is. Should pop eventually. Now, what we have to do, um, 
we have to make a couple of choices and do sort of specific dialogue options. There is a doll on the left, on the right, on the bookshelf behind us, which we need. So if we speak to him about the Basilians, or the flute noses, doesn't matter which one, what you need to do then is there are two options. We always need to be choosing provo provocation. Provocation, I was going to say then, but provocation. The other one, which is diplomacy, never choose the diplomacy action. So, speak to him about the Basilians and the flute noses every single time. Choose provocation. So, just, just keep doing that. We just need to do this for a bit until the doll from above on the top of the bookshelf comes down and then it is in our inventory. So... Brazilian provocation, flute nose provocation, Brazilian provocation. Just keep doing that for the next minute or so. Another thing I uh. They why can't you don't use <laughs> There's something about Yeah. If you throw the thing, that's it. Another thing I want. Uh. They what? Don't. There's something a yeah. If you That's right, so after we have finally got the doll, what we can do is get our 6th out of 34th blabbermouse and we're going to speak- This is Emil, by the way, he just looks like an angry security guard, let alone supposed to be a villain who's hell-bent on destroying all flute noses. But make sure to speak to Emil right here. Again, it's only going to be one sort of dialogue option Laura says. That's pretty much it but that again that does count towards the blabbermouth if you want to do it twice to be sure oh, to be sure to be sure well then you could do it to be sure to be sure all right all right so with that one done and what we could do is um we're going to use the conroy doll uh, conroy doll with emil now make sure to choose the following conversation topics very carefully make sure to choose encouraging first sorry i was a bit behind with that one there but we need to choose encouraging first uh, and you have to do this in a specific order, so use the Conroy doll with Emil again. And then use the encouraging option once more. So we basically need to get Emil in front of the bust, the big Conroy statue on the right. There he is. Then we need to use the Conroy doll on him again. Now, where? <laughs> show me on the doll where Emil touched you, because he does look like that kind of guy. Now choose the bossy option. And then he's going to get all angry because he's like, I didn't touch nobody there, that's a lie. It was my nose, damn it, it's got a mind of its own. Anyway, he's going to get knocked out. Um, a guard's going to come in, Laura's going to be taken away, and we're into the jail cell. Uh, by the Yarp Narp guard. <laughs> yeah, I... I'll remember this, you're all Conroy, Emil, guard number one... Hello? Oh, hi. Are you I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. So, here's everything you need to know. Welcome to Jet. Um... I helped to kill Conroy. Your what? Yeah. My Where did they- In Wollington. I helped Ocarino- b Ocarino? Oh my god, Robert! You found Rob- Well, we actually wanted to escape with the cable car- Thank goodness he's alive! <laughs> So you know what? Yeah, we work together to def- What an honor- The honors- You are bafflingly beautiful, I mean- I have to find him. Okay, good luck. Ha, no worries. Rather complex- Libretta just getting the flute nose horn on right there. Um, with our main character, Laura. So, here we go. Lots of things to do in here. A bit of back- A lot of back and forth in this chapter, actually. So the first thing we're going to do is interact with the toilet tank to open it up. Again, it's always the two gear cogs, which of course, as you'll probably know by now, is the use option. Take the knitting needles from, for some reason, inside the bognus. Now we're going to take the toilet paper roll, which should be just to the right of you. So grab that one. And then we can take the duct tape on the corner of the asp knot poster. Uh, basically a good slipknot cover band. I like it. Right, now we're going to take the poster itself. Sorry, ass knot. 
Um, in fact, we don't take it, we just flick it up a bit. Now we can talk to the hole, which is going to talk to Obo. Uncle Obo, but that is going to be 7th out of 34 blabbermouths. So, make sure to talk to the hole. And you can just choose any topic you want, and then press the B button to back out. Just make sure you've chosen at least one tropical. Oh, I'm definitely, in any case... How long have you been- They captured me- Uncle- That's what- You don't- This- They'll- I- We'll talk again soon. I certainly- Right, with that one done, we can now grab the Conroy Bible here, right at the- <laughs> Conroy Bible, right at the bottom of the screen. So grab that one, now we can take the neck roll pillow in the top right corner. That's one good thing about this prison, I suppose, it looks like a comfy pillow. Right, now we can go to look outside at the cell door. The jail cell, the prison door. So, choose look outside. Now, this one is very, very missable, so do this one now. We need to talk to the pacing guard on the right side hand side because we're basically gonna, we're gonna knock him out in a little bit so we have to speak to him now to get eighth the eighth blabbermouth so that's all she says is i don't feel like talking to him but again that does count so if you want to do it twice like i do here just to be on the safe side and just to make sure that we are all correct that will be eight out of 34 blabbermouth now now we can speak to the guard on the left hand side which will count again that'll be blabbermouth number nine yarp narp now, we have to uh, speak to him about the cactus collection. So, speak to him first. The, you have to choose these dialogue options in here to get the frozen peas. So, don't know about the cactus collection. Then, choose the blue Maurice option twice. So, that'll be the first time. Choose a blue Maurice again. Maurice, Maurice, either way, it's, uh, well, we've chosen it. Now, choose the food option. And then make sure to cho choose the frozen peas. I mean, it's a prison. What do you expect? You've broken the law. You don't expect thawed peas, do you? And cooked peas? Jesus Christ. you got to do that stuff yourself, man. It's not like you're doing anything else in a prison these days, is it? So, after that one's done, we can go back into the jail cell. So, again, you have to do that by uh, using the hotspot stuff, of course. And then choose the go back option. Come in. There it is. So choose the jail cell, go back, job done. Now we're going to take the frozen peas, which should be on your bunk bed. It looks a little more rickety and a bit more harder than the one at the top, which is a damn shame. So use the frozen peas. We're going to use the knitting needles with the frozen peas. We're going to we're going to knit us up some peas, apparently. Now nah, we're going to thaw them, which I assume took a lot longer than one second. Now remember, we're going, we need to make sure to speak to Libretta right here. So this will be, of course we spoke to her as Robert, but this is a new interaction, so that'll be Blabbermouth 10. Uh, and you need to speak to her, sorry, about the paint stains, and then the cactus painting. So make sure to choose the dialogue options, paint stains and cactus painting. Again, if you want to be on the safe side, speak to her about everything that pops up. Um, but again, just choosing the paint stains and cactus painting options will do it. Uh, so after you've done that, we can now back out. Again, it's a lot of paranoia on my part, so I end up just doing it anyway, <laughs> just in case. Now we're going to get the green is not a creative color achievement, and the way we do that is just go into our inventory and use the peas with Libretta. And then when that one is done, we will get the green is not a creative achievement. So, with that one, what we can do is go into our inventory. Again, it does take a few seconds for it to unlock, but it should unlock eventually. Use the toilet paper roll with the drain pipe just underneath the poster. Because apparently when water goes through it, it doesn't split. It's, uh, it's apparently very hard. Very durable. Damn. Now we can use the duct tape anyway with the drain pipe. Ah, that's probably why, actually, duct tape will do it. Yeah. So use the duct tape with the drain pipe. Now we can go back to looking outside of the jail cell door. And we can speak to the guard on the left again. The guard on the right, again, you should have got by now, so don't panic about him. Just in case, though, <laughs> again. Man, it's like I've smoked a whole bunch of marijuana. Super paranoid about this. Uh, otherwise, we can speak to the guard on the left. It's just choose the food option. And this time, make sure to choose the uh, mixed fruit option. And I mean, the meals might taste like crap, and they may look like you, they're going to give you diarrhea for days, but hey, it's food on tap, man. You can't blame it. It's <laughs> That'll do me. 
So choose the mixed fruit option. Now we can go back into the jail cell. Back, 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 black, black. Right, in the jail cell, we're going to take the mixed fruit, which is basically, it's not, it's about as mixed as my nipples. It's just, it's just a peach. Yeah, <laughs> should have said my butt then, that would have gone well. My butt is a peach, which, use the squats will do that. Right, use the neck roll pillow with the toilet bowl. Uh, unlucky libretta, you're going to now uh, just sleep in pee. Sorry about that. Interact with the flusher to the right, top right of the toilet tank three times. So basically until the disgusting, dirty pee and poop water is right at the very top. Filled to the rim job. There we go. Now, after that, we can just take the pillow from the toilet bowl. So make sure to do that. And now we can go back to the jail cell. After this uh, whole automatic interaction, sorry. So after this automatic interaction happens, we can now go back to the jail cell. There it is. There it is. Now we can use the peach with the toilet bowl. And again, this is all for a weird reason. We're not just bored. We're just grabbing a missable achievement. So put the peach into the old bognus regis right there. There it is. And then interact with the flusher to get the kick it like peachum achievement. And again, it'll be a little bit of a delay, but it will pop eventually. Uh, so we've just grabbed the peach anyway, and now we can crack on. So next, we're going to use the peas with the toilet bowl. And again, all this just so Libretta can paint a blue bloody cactus thing. There it is. So again, if you want to wait around until it unlocks to be on the safe side, job done. So use the peas now with the toilet bowl. It's like there's a little rabbit taking a crap in here. And then interact with the flusher, of course, to flush them away. So if there was there a gap before it and the flush was working, so there's literally just crap just appearing on, on your jail jail cell floor. Delicious. Right, that is the reason why we needed to speak to the guard on the right first. Uh, but after that one, we can um, go back to the jail cell. Because, of course, now we'll miss the opportunity to speak to the guard on the right. That's why we've done it earlier. Next, we're going to use the peach again <laughs> with the toilet bowl. It's a lot of work just to escape this prison. Interact with the flusher, and then we can go and look outside again. <laughs> Gurgle! Right, so from here, what we can do is get our 11th blabbermouth, and that is for talking to the prisoners at the barred window on our right. So, you can see four pipes by there. There's the prisoners, just by the pipes. So we can speak to them, but Laura doesn't want to bother them. Again, that will count, so that'll be blabbermouth number 11. Now, like I said, there are four pipes around our cell door. Two on the left, two on the right. What we need to do is use the knitting needles on the lower right pipe. So we've got the top right one, which is the pipe going all the way up, but we need to use knitting needles on the smaller pipe, just by the sort of animatronic weird KFC bird right there. That is the one. So as soon as we've done that, the creature is going to grab the keys. That's what we like. So, when the creature has grabbed said keys, now we need to use the knitting needles with the upper left pipe, which of course is the top left pipe. I don't know uh, how many ways you need that explaining. So, using with that one, the creature will now move to the top right hole. Damn, that creature's getting in a lot of holes. Now we need to use the knitting needles with the lower right pipe again, so the first one that we've done. And the creature is going to run away this time to the right. After he's done that, we can now speak to the guard again and ask for some grubs. So, off goes the creature. <coughs> Up your guts, pal. Let's speak to Yarp Narp Guard. I'm so, use the food dialogue option once more. There we go. I'd like to play some and now we need to use the mystery meat with blue gelatin. Now, of course it looks like crap, but you'll try anything three times before uh, spewing your guts up, won't you? So, ask him for the mystery meat anyway, and now we can go back to the jail cell. So, we will automatically receive the key from the creature here. There he is, or there it is. Rather, <laughs> rather blah, blah. So, we've got the key. Now we can take the mystery meat and the gelatin. Um, but basically, uh, she's only going to take the blue stuff, which is all we need. Now we can use the keys with libretta. I mean, to be fair, so it's a bit harsh, man. She's just got a flute nose. That's no reason to put her in here. She's a... She's a 
cute little lady. Anyway, libretto's all good now. Now we can go back to looking outside. And we are going to be coming up to an achievement soon. We have to get it right the first time. Very important to do it. But it's not hard. But I will explain all. So talk to the card again. The card. The Yarton Art Guard. Use the food option again. And then choose Slimy Tomato Mush. Which again, it, you know what? That might blow your bollocks off. But uh, I'm telling you, I will eat anything. I'll eat anything for money. Does that make me a, does that make me a money prostitute? But just eating stuff for fun. Very much like that one episode of South Park with Kenny. Anyway, uh, we're going to now speak to the hole, which is oboe, after we get the slimy tomato mush. Again, I'll do that for a fiver. Give me, give me, give me money. I'm a poor man's. Boris Johnson has ruined my life. So anyway, speak to the hole. And we will interact with him by speaking, uh, picking the drawing material option. Now... This following knock knock game is random, but again, it's not very hard. So we definitely need to make sure to save the game here. But basically, what we have to do, we when we give Conroy the Bible, I will explain all now. Um, so we can just back out of here, and um, I'm basically going to quickly explain before we go on. So make sure to save the game. It, you know, the, it automatically saves anyway, but just press uh, save the game. So, what we have to do is, the rules are straightforward. Oboe is going to knock on the wall, and we just need to count how many times he's knocked. But the sound, the sounds do change, which makes it more difficult. So I highly advise putting the subtitles on. Very, like, the subtitles on, I've always had them anyway. That pop up, and when Oboe knocks, they will pop up around the hole. So there'll be a bunch of different ones. It'll say, clang, going, bang, boing. But they all count as one bang. So instead of counting the actual sounds, count the subtitles that pop up around the hole. So, say if you, and basically what he does then is he adds one. So, if he does it three times, you always need to add one, okay? If he, if he knocks four times, you need to add one. So for me, he's going to knock once. But because he always um, adds the one, I need to put down the answer as twice. So, you see what I mean? So, he always adds one to everything. So, if he knocks five times, you've got to then choose six. Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? I hope I explained that um, well, instead of gabbling on and babbling on about everything. Uh, so, this time, again, as you can see, it's clang, boing, just as long as they are all bang. So, for me, he uh, obviously just done that twice, plus the one. So, now we need to use it three times. So... That's all you need to do. As long as you've done it twice there and you've got them correct, then you will get the Knock Knock Master achievement. If, if you ended up accidentally messing up, some people have said quitting out immediately and starting it um, works and you go back to the beginning of it. Some people have said that it hasn't unlocked and you've had to play the game to get back to this point again. So hopefully you've got that first time and that will be that one. So, um, obviously what we had to do to get that to start was use the Conroy Bible with the hole. Sorry, I did forget to mention that first. Um, but, ho you know, hopefully you would have seen that anyway. So, using the Conroy Bible with the hole, doing that, gives us the Knock Knock Master achievement. After we've done all that, what we can do then is use the curry powder with the toilet bowl. Not like enough of it comes from your butt anyway with this bloody uh, jail food. Now we can receive the wet curry powder and use the toilet paper with libretta. So make sure to do that. Then we can use the wet curry diarrhea with libretta. So what you're doing is is effectively giving give, you are giving her poop. You are literally giving her poop to paint with. Well, that's what happens when you're that bored in jail, huh? Next we can use the slimy tomato mush with libretta. I think I can. Yeah. Yeah, I know, bruh. I know. I'm trying to give them to you if you'll bloody let me. Use the blue gelatin with libretta. And then we are coming up to the end of the uh, second chapter, by the way. Hooray! Now we can use the knitting needles with Libretta. I could use one. You can keep <laughs> of course you can. Oh, me, she keeps this one. That's nice. Right. So we need to use the following answers carefully. So choose these specific dialogue options. First of all, it's straight spines. So again, make sure to choose that very, very carefully. Straight as my nans. Uh, nothing. Four flowers. Make sure to choose four flowers. Then choose a Y-shaped body. 
I want that kind of body, see, big shoulders and a skinny frame, except I'm lumpy and potato-ish all over. So Y-shaped anyway, body. Then choose six spines. Damn, that's spines. Now, of course, it's the V1, which, of course, is Roman numerals. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's as, pretty much as far as I can get my, with my Roman numerals. Then choose Maurice, which will be on the very right-hand side, which looks like the Yarp Narp Guard. And then we can receive the painting. I mean, fair play. You are you're doing it with Poop Loretta, but that is goddamn talent right there. Now we can go to look outside. Come fly with me. Let's look, let's look outside. Use the painting with the cactus guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. So use the painting. And then to end the chapter, when we get the keys, we can now use the keys with the lock on the door. Endo, kablamo, chapter 3 -o. Please, monkey -o. Ha! I did it! Okay, I think I'll take the cable car to Espo. Fantastic! Thank you so much for your good luck. Thanks, Lebrun. Now, my dear. Yes? First the... Ha! The coward is gone, Roy Wood. Where is... She's just fine. You've done Espo... Oh, me! Libretta is a douchebag! Well, well, as long as she gets a sister back, it's all good. Right then, so, chapter 3, we're playing as Robert in Asposh Essential again. So, the first thing we're going to do is go down this little ramp into wrap with the first aid kit. And we're going to get the syringe and medicinal herbs. Now, later on, we will be returning this syringe for the achievement for borrowing stuff and putting it back later on. So, again, just keep that one in mind. Use the syringe with the puddle on the bottom right. There we go, and now we're going to get our 12th blabbermouth, and that is for speaking with Hippie Von... Hippie from the 1980s here, the uh, Conroyalist, who is called Bogo, which is uh, just a hilarious name in itself. So, speak to the Conroyalist. Uh, we can just choose any topic you want, so you can just choose one topic and back out or smash through all of them. Up to ye. When it... Ye... Up... Uh, no... I did... It... But... So... A lot... Take care. Yay. And for the next one, after we speak to Bogo, hilarious, speak to the ticket machine at the top of the screen right there. And now what we'll be able to do is switch between Laura and Robert because they're all like, Oh my god, I want to kiss your flute nose, man. It doesn't extend, but it's cute. I love you for you. Flute nose. Oh, never. Of course. Laura. I travel in some luggage and... Oh, Lord. I've missed you too, flute nose. How did you know where I... I met Labretta when... Is she okay? Yeah, for now. We have to... We have to... I bet I can... Great. But how are you going to get... Let me worry about that. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to give you a big fat kiss. I've got to get that cable... So then, with that done, we can now... Uh, Switch between, like I said, Laura and Robert. And what we're going to do is take the red plugs. Now, the red plugs are on the right-hand side of the room. Um, where that, like, hatch, weird hatch-looking thing is. Just to the left of... Uh, just to the right of that. There they are. So, there are the red plugs. And just to the left of, like, that windowy type thing. So, make sure to grab the red plugs. Take the bowl just to the right of said red plugs. We're going to take the sawdust right in front of us now. So, scoop that up your nose and... Have a great time. Uh, we're going to take the tumble mouse above the sawdust as well. So that should be the red plugs, bowl, sawdust, and tumble mouse. Now to get another achievement, we're going to use the sawdust with the drill rats, which are in the bottom of the screen. So these drill rats, which are all um, captured, use sawdust with it to get the feeding the drill rats achievement. That was a very, very well thought up achievement right there. But rats are already the most weirdest, crappiest animals on the planet. Imagine giving them a freaking drill nose. Jesus, imagine seeing one of them in your bin. A literal drill rat. Jesus Christ. You'd move out when you just burn your bin. Move out your house. Uh, again, we're just waiting for the achievement to unlock right here. It's taking a while. Come in. There we go. Feeding the drill rats. A lot of rare achievements, which we're pretty much happy with. Right, use the bowl with a button on the floor to the left. Of course, because a lot of people are not completing the game and starting the game. It gives us lots of rare achievements, which makes it look even better. So when we do that, interact with the red button with the symbol of a box above it. Um, 
in the in the center sort of left of the room sorry there it is so there's the box there's the button interact with the button job done what's going to happen then is uh, some kind of box will arrive there's the box job done right uh, now we can interact with the service hatch Oh, sorry, we're taking the ball first. Sorry, getting a bit ahead of myself. We're taking the ball first. Use the sawdust with the drill rats. Sorry, just getting a little bit ahead of myself right there. <laughs> Again, it's sorry. So anyway, after we use the sawdust, we're taking the ball. We're using the sawdust with the drill rats. Uh, just imagine seeing these little sons of bitches. And look how easy they can come through. Perfect circle as well. You know, and apparently rats just go after people who can't move. I imagine that. Oh, a rat was nibbling on this uh, old woman. No, a rat just drilled through this old woman. Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Anyway, that's the drill rats done. The back of the box will now have holes in it. Again, that will come in handy a lot later on. But now we can interact with the service hatch, which is the big metal type looking thing. And then we're going to get a blabbermouth as well as taking the plugs on the right. So we're going to take the plugs on the right first. And this is another... The puzzles are not annoying, but it's the fact you have to keep skipping through with the hotspot with the right bumper all the time. That just makes it annoying. After we do that, interact with the emergency telephone to get the 14th blabbermouth. And again, just choose any topic you want. One topic and back out, or all topics, completely up to you, but spam through that anyway. But I am the me medium. I sense great... No, really. Ah. Yeah, I'm... Hold on. Would you like to... I just... For that... Are you... What ri... The, uh, what the... Uh, that is... Where is... Okay... Oh, what... I... 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 I yeah... No... I... Gift... Love... What... And... I, you... The... Oh, I, yeah... Uh, uh, okay... That... that. Let's see. Uh, I'm hanging up now. Talk. Oh, there. Oh. Now, apparently I got very paranoid there. Uh, the reason being, I didn't know if it counted when the one bit of dialogue sort of darkens out. So I didn't know if that counted or not. So, yeah, I got very paranoid. But it doesn't matter. You can literally just speak to him once and job done. Right, so this is a little puzzle. So what you have to do from left to right on the top row, we're going to go blue and then white and white. See how annoying it gets when you have to keep spamming through it? <laughs> anyway, on the second row, we're going to go brown, brown, and yellow. So the second row, brown, brown, yellow. Third row, we're going to go blue, yellow, and then leave the last one empty. So blue, yellow, and empty. And then for the final row, we're going to go empty, red, red. So it should be uh, leaving it empty, and then red and red. Now that we've done it correctly, what should happen is the board will light up and we can just press the B button to back out of the screen. Job done. Next, we're going to use the tumble mouse with the ventilation shaft. Man, what a shaft. So use the tumble mouse with the ventilation shaft, the kind of drunk looking robot wooden thing, whatever the hell you want to call that. Um, now we can interact with the up arrow, which should be just on the top left. And job done. After we've done this, we can now switch to Roberto. Roberto. So, switch to Roberto. Come in. Switch to Roberto, damn it. Okay, we made it. Right, oh, now we've got a couple of things to do. Right, we're going to use, uh, take the tumble mouse, which is against the balcony right there. And we're going to use the tumble mouse with the puddle. So, in the bottom right corner, of course, is the puzzle. P puzzle. Puddle. Use the tumble mouse with it to make it nice and wet. Lots of water. And he's going to probably smell like, you know, pure wet dog. There. Delicious. 
Next, we're going to use the medicinal herbs with the tea kettle. This is important in order to progress a little later on. So use the medicinal herbs. Somebody is going to get high from a cup of tea. And I'm out all up for that, to be fair. Use the medicinal herbs then with the tea, carpet, uh, tea kettle. Then use the wet tumble mouse with the tea kettle. Uh, there you go. I mean, you could just get water from a tap somewhere, but we're going to use wet tumble mouse dog smell. Nice. Right, when this is happening, quickly take the tension spring. It's basically on the ketchup machine by Boggo. So while the kettle is going, go to the ketchup machine, take the tension spring, and job done. So basically what's happening now is Boggo's going to hit that, get a bit of red sauce on him, and job done. If you don't manage to do that with the tea kettle, you can just use the wet tumble mouse with the kettle, boil it up again, and then just go again. So you have to do that, which is all fine. When he gets rid of himself, we're now going to take the ID from Boggo's jacket. And then we're just going to talk to the ticket machine this time again to get the negative thinking doesn't pay off achievement. You take us in the death, thank you. Um, maybe Laura by her. And waiting, 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 waiting all day long. There it is. So, then when that one's done, we're going to now switch to Peck. And on the very left-hand side is a vacation advertisement. So, make sure to ch uh, pick that one up. And then what that's going to do, again, it's going to come in handy for story progression later. But it's also going to get us the Public Enemy number 1 achievement as well. So, two quick achievements in quick succession. That's what we like. We love hearing the buzz. And don't get too confused with the upside down, down upside. It doesn't get too confusing, promise you. Right, so what we have to do... Now, we have to use the vacation advertisement with the hook to the right of the sort of rat. The hawala rat right there. Now, just to the right of the rat is a hook that we need to use and use the vacation advertisement. I forget to do it now, but we do it later on anyway. So for now, use the pipe so that the pipe is sort of pointing upwards. Or if you're, ups if you're, if you're the upside down guard, that's going downwards. Anyway, interact with it. And it is facing upwards anyway. So we're going to switch to Laura here. We're going to interact with the down arrow button on the ventilation shaft. And floop. Hey, unlucky brother. But there's only so many times you can keep switch, uh, grabbing that piece of candy. Candy. Those pizza, that, that bit of sweet before it eventually disappeared. So now Laura's got that. What we can do is take the... Uh, we're going to interact with the service hatch first, sorry. Come in. Alright, we got there eventually. Now we're going to take the red plug from the bottom middle. And use the red plug with the bottom left socket. So take it from the bottom middle and then just use that same red plug with the bottom left. There we go. That will light up once again. And we can just back out and switch to Roberto Rini. So get ready for Blabbermouth 15. We're going to speak to the guy who looks like he's off his nut. He is called Mr. Sun. Or Mr. Sun. Either way, speak to him and we're going to choose two specific dialogue options. One is travel. Do -do -do, and the other one is home. So make sure you choose uh, at least chosen travel and at least chosen home. And then we can just back out. It must be really oh. Oh. No. Next, we're going to once again talk to the ticket machine. What that's going to give us is a ticket and some pocket change. And that's all it takes. If you ever want some change for the arcades, just keep keep talking to one like you're losing your head. And eventually, somebody's going to feel sorry for you because you look nuts. Go upstairs to the left of where Mr. Sun is sitting. Now, uh, don't get too confused right here. Um, but we're going to use the ID now with the Yarp Narp Guard. Of course, that should be um, uh, Gobbo's or Boggo's ID. So use that with the guard. Again, don't get too confused, please. There it is. Hello. And after that one, what we can do is now talk to the guard. Now, all we have to do is talk to him about travel and then seating ability. What I end up doing is actually just spamming through all of the dialogue with the guard again. But we have to make sure to speak to the guard for Blabbermouth 16. But as long as you've done at least travel and then seating availability, avail 
seating availability, you should be good. But again, I've just smashed through all the dialogue out of pure marijuana paranoia. Is there still a... No, I... Can my pit then... Can my... Then, I followed the guy... Oh good, yo, I report. Good. Next is another blubber mouth. We're gonna talk to the traveler who's on the right. So just speak to him. And again, if you want, smash through all of the dialogue up to you, but we have to make sure to speak to him first of all about destination. Like there. And then seat reservations. So as long as you talk to him about destination and seat reservations, you can then just back out and move on. Could I maybe have yours? No! Do you not think a visit to my... Uh, didn't you say you... Yes. Oh, no. Yes, you... Is there a... No! If you like... Well, yes, I... Right, so after we go with that, that should be uh, Blabbermouth 17 after you speak to the Traveller. Now we can use the filled syringe with the juice box. We are going to get up some pure steroid munching juice heads. Which, God, I wish I looked like that. I look so super cool. So, after using these filled syringe with the juice box, go ahead and talk to the guard. And this time, we're just going to use the option security check, which should be on the right. There it is. I followed the guidelines. Hey, you have two. What? Please follow. Oh. Float nose. <laughs> I found a come with float noses are to be taken to upper exposure. No. Report. Float. You've done the people. Oh my God. I. I. No can do. My orders come. No. It what? Ah, I must admit. It pleased you've betrayed your. No. I have to find the wind. I mean, you feel sorry for the wang bag, don't you? But uh, hey, it's the stuff we got to do. So, <laughs> what we can do is go back downstairs, which is called also upstairs, weirdly. Use the syringe with the medicine cabinet to return it. Now, this is very important. Like I said, this should be the second out of third things that we've borrowed and returned. So, make sure to give the syringe back to the medicine cabinet. Switch to peck. And then we're going to peck the pipe. Uh, the ventilation pipe on the left so that it is facing downwards towards Mr. Sun. Then when we do this, we can now just go ahead and switch to L'Horreur. L'Horreur. So, apparently she is French now. Right, use the caramel with the radiator in the bottom right. So we should have caramel. Caramel, for some reason. I don't know why Americans say caramel. It, there's literally another A in it. Caramel. But I'm just joking. Us British do stupid stuff too. So after that one, um, use the melted caramel with the ventilation shaft. Melted caramel. Aluminum and aluminium. That's another one. That's a, that's a, another argument for the age. Uh, take the sawdust again. And then we can use the sawdust with the melted caramel in the ventilator shaft. I, I really do enjoy the uh, Britain, versus arg uh, Br Britain versus America arguments about what's right and what's wrong. Um, so... Yeah, using the sawdust with the metal caramel. Now we can interact with the up arrow and then switch to Roberto Roni again. Right, when we are Robert, now what we have to do is remember I said um, about Peck and we have to use the vacation advertisement on the hook right next to the rat. Well, that's what we're going to be doing now. So switch to peck. Again, we do this now. I forgot to do it earlier on. There is the hook. Now we can use the vacation advertisement with it. And then what's going to happen? We need Mr. Sun to be smiling. The old Pringles can face dude. So uh, what's going to happen now? The rat's going the other way. Switch back to Robert. Use the wet tumble mouse with the tea kettle. And then because the rat is going the other way, that's going to blow the fan the correct way. And... Remember, you should have put the medicinal herbs in as well. If you haven't, make sure to put the medicinal herbs in the tea kettle as well. Now it's going to start going over. It's a nice lemony herb smell. And old Pringle's face is going to enjoy that and start smiling. And that's what we need in order to move on. So as soon as he's all good, speak to Mr. Sun as well. And basically what's going to happen is he's going to quit his job, free his bird, and we can get the birdcage. It's an easy one. 
And all it's taking is half hour-ish. Grand. So coming up quite close now to the end of chapter three. So, uh, talk to the ticket machine once more. I like it better than me as baggage. He's got a hell of a nasally voice as flute nose wang bag right there. Right, last bit to do with uh, Laura right now. So we're going to take the cage in order to get the shipping label. That's going to come in handy. Oh, it's little Pac-Man's. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Nice little reunion. So, let's do it. Let's take the cage to grab the shipping label. Now we need to take the caramel candy with sawdust. Which should again be in the ventilator shaft there. Next, use the caramel, 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 caramel candy with the sawdust with the shipping label. Should both be in your inventory now. So the caramel candy with the sawdust, use that with the shipping label to make it nice and sticky. Use the sticky shipping label with the box. Slap that boy on. Man, this bad boy can fit so many Lauras in here. No, just use that with the box. Now we actually need to interact with the box. Um, now I accidentally... Um, we've only got three things left to do here. Now, I accidentally interact with Peck and use the button. But of course it's not going to work because we need Laura to get in there. Otherwise she's stuck in this hellhole forever. Ah, we just can't have that. So, switch back to Laura. Interact with the box. Oh, don't fly all the way back up there. I'll need you now, you douchebag. There we go. Now we can use Peck. Peck the floor button. And then, as Robert, we can just go upstairs and then to the cable car. And that is the end of chapter three. And here we are, chapter four. So we got three chapters left, including this one. And here we are at the Basilian Brazilian Graveyard. So we need to wake up a sleeping Brazilian. Easy enough to do. Bit of conversation, bit of dialogue before we can finally begin. So first thing what we're going to do is switch to our little KFC Peckinator friend. But right now, I'm at the bingo, Mama Do. That was the woman from my vid. The bingo lady. Are you s No. She n Okay. But can we agree so that we You have to try You don't even When Emil sees this Okay. And now she blows. So, when we can finally begin, let's switch to the old Pekinator KFC leg end. Take the pendulum on the left which is on the wire. There it is. So make sure to grab that one. And now we can take the Brazilian eye, like the petrifying eye, uh, which is on the right of the swinging bone. There it is. Oh, next to the swinging bone. So make sure to grab that Brazilian eye. T a Brazilian. Take the paper. It's in the very top left-hand corner there. There it is. And then we need to take the clay, which is to the right of the phosphos, and just above the golden door. The phosphos is like the flying ghost pig looking type thing. Uh, but make sure to grab the clay, and then we can switch to Roberto. And then what we can do now is take the tail fur on the right. So right on the very right hand side, take, manage to take the tail fur. Take it. Nothing bad will happen to you. And now we can just go to the city gates at the bottom of the screen just down the steps here. So let's head to the city gates. And there's going to be a couple of quick blammer mouse in succession. 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. 
in this tiny little area. Tiny. So when we begin then, the first one we're going to do is talk to Mama Dola in the window in the top left. There she is. She's the only looking, she's the only looking doll bum, old doll bum here. So speak to her. We'd be happy. I'm not li Yes. Well, I'm with it. It looks like they're missing something in I don't. Come on in. Right, with that one done, now we can talk to the statue to get Blabbermouth 19 out of 34. Welcome to your mother. Now we can talk to Laura. Again, sometimes I do it twice just to be on the safe side. Now we can speak to Laura anyway. Again, we've spoken to her before, but we can speak to her again. Uh, but this will be Blabbermouth 20. T talk to the sleeping Asposian, who is literally the guy just next to Laura, sleeping with a bottle of triple X. Alcoholic pornography, as it were. Uh, but anyway, speak to him. Old Jumbo Jet Nose, and that would be Blabbermouth 21. Now we can use the False Flos plushie in our inventory with the bottle that the sleep Sleeping Explosion has. So, use the Phosphos, use that with the bottle. We can now get the bottle, and he's got ah, a little snuggy flesh, fl uh, plushie. Next, for Blabbermouth 22, let's speak to the crazy guy, which is just above Laura, the old carrot top right there. And that will be Blabbermouth 22 out of 34. A couple of things to uh, specifically say to him, though. The first one is Smart Module. And then choose Flute Noses in order to get through this. All came to Yeah, well, that seemed jerks. But don't worry. Okay. Sure. Sounds like we... What do you think? They should. Yeah. yeah. So we. What? Yeah. I exactly. Yeah. And in. And was I? <laughs> Can we please? So. Lord, where are we? But what? Then King. See you later. All right. Oh. And then what we're gonna do after this? We're gonna switch to Peck. So get your Pecker out. <laughs> Can't believe it's taking me that long to say that. Then have a look at the old fish just above the crazy carrot top head. Peck that. And then we can go to the wind fountain on the right hand side. So, well, go there. <laughs> Get your pecker out. <laughs> I can't believe that took me over an hour. Right, so now we will have the ability to use Robert's flute nose to play music. And the way we do that is just, we just press the right trigger and then choose a song to play once we learn it. It looks like a giant is shep. Not sure if he'll get the same language that I just did just then, uh, which was probably German. Sorry, I'm not very good. I, I, I look German, but I could probably be wrong. So yeah, if you just press the right trigger, as you can see, you will get uh, what we only know as the wind song from now. And then when we get the other ones, when you press the right trigger, you'll get more options to choose from. So, from here we can switch to Robert, talk to the merchant then for Blabbermouth 23 out of 34. And then when the dialogue option comes up, make sure that you choose the Chili Pepper Box option. And again, you can either just back out then or smash through it all, but make sure to choose the Red Hot Chili Pepper Box. You're easy. And that inside we are... And I yeah, lots of... Sorry. You know... Something that only adults could have. Oh no. Can I? First, you'll have. Goodbye. Come again. And there's that one done. So that didn't work so well. So now we can speak to the pony, which will be Blabbermouth24. Hello. And what dude is looking disheveled up on top of a cliff. That is definitely an all nighter, that one. So just speak to him about the abyss and then ask him about Bingo Pony two times. And we can get through this one. What is a bingo? Bingo is the oldest game in the world. I see. The announcer said I look like a wolf. Oh man, if I were Laura. Thanks. And so. I okay. 
What? Well, and supposedly. Yep. Laura. I can't even concentrate. Laura. And as you can see, my horn has. Br and my lucky hoof that I always use to kick the balls. Are you sure that's all? Laura. And now we can lovingly and simply just back out. We don't have to speak to him about anything else for now. So that one's done. As soon as this conversation's over, we're going to now switch to Laura Laura Lou. Laura Laura Laura. Laura Laura Lai. And we're going to speak to Robert straight away for Blabbermouth 25. Again, very easily missed. Uh, <laughs> Robert's getting the old flute nose horn. Laura's not having any of it though, so just make sure, like I said, to speak to Robert there to get Blabbermouth 25. Otherwise, we can take the pointy rock tip, which is on the left here. So make sure to grab that. And then we're going to use the pocket change with the merchant. So head over to the merchant in your inventory, get the pocket change out, and give it to the man who decided to open up a shop on a mountain where nobody goes. Fantastic marketing, that one. Um, yeah. But anyway, what we can do now is take a mystery bag to receive a clover. So there's a mystery bag. We're going to take that. <coughs> what we need in is a magnet. But what we get first is a clo clover and not even a four-leaf clover. So we can get lucky in love and lucky in riches. Nope, it's just a clover. It might as well just be butter. So what we can do now, we're going to use the pendulum with the mystery bags to get a horseshoe. Uh, you don't have to switch to Robert, um, you can just use the pendulum on the mystery bags and then uh, Robert will automatically do that one. May I consult my pendulum on which bag to buy? Sure! <laughs> okay, we'd like to... There you go! A horseshoe? Looks more like a... That is a horseshoe! So, there is that one. Now we have the um, uh, horseshoe. We can now use the alcohol bottle with the merchant. And that will finally get us the red hot chili pepper. Give it away, give it away, give it away now! Give it away, give it away! Uh, but that will get us the red hot chili pepper box. That was my uh, red hot chili pepper impression. Don't you just love it? And since we now have the chili pepper box, what we can do is use the chili pepper box with the town, which is in the bottom left. So, whap out your... And then use it on the town right there in the bottom left, and then Laura will uh, give it away now and drop it. And then we can just head down to the city gates. Right, when we're here, make sure to grab the chili pepper, which is on the ground immediately to our right. Just next to the cactus. So, go ahead, don't give it away now. Uh, pick it up, and then we're going to use the lump of clay, uh, which we picked up at the very beginning of the chapter. We're going to use that then with a creek on the left. There it is, just the lovely bit of water running down. Use the lump of clay with that. And then after we use the lump of clay with the creek... We are now going to use the wet clay with the nose cover. So somebody's making a fake <coughs> nose. It's about six inches long. Everybody loves one. <laughs> I mean, I meant to say everybody loves it. Everybody wants one. Yeah, so uh, anyway, use the <laughs> using the wet clay there with the nose cover. And it's going to make a um, brown carrot. I'm not going to even suggest where that's been to make it all brown. So now we can use the pointy rock tip with the stone. Big, huge stone, that is. Pretty unmissable. So yeah, use the pointy rock tip with the stone. That is going to fall directly into the stream. And then we can just switch to Roberto. And here we go. So, now we can interact with the... Symbols in the bottom left, right here. So the right in the bottom left corner of the map of the screen. Uh, Robert will now learn a new song. I mean, I don't know why. He could literally just make up one and call it, you know, call it as it is. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're learning a new song. This is the uh, up song, I believe, to make things go up. <laughs> a lot of flute noses are going to be very happy with that. Excuse me, my nose doesn't work. Let me play you this up song. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we can move to the sleeping Phosphos in the water, and we can use, uh, press the right trigger, 
and then we can play the wind song in order to rise all these ghost pig looking things so obviously the first one will be the wind song so these ghost flying pigs will awaken and then the statue will throw its hat hey yeah and there it goes oof what's that snow what's that statue snowman fist in now there's nothing there buddy anyway grab the memory mollusk or the meme the memo mollusk sorry from inside the fisting snowman statue and then go to the brazilian graveyard on the left it's Brazilian, of course. Not Brazilian. Um, yeah, well, let's go all the way upstairs. All the way up to the stairs, sorry. And then we can grab the red hat. It's basically just on the church spire. Or the church roof right there. So, grab the hat. And then we can go all the way back down to the city gates. And then all the way to the right to the wind fountain once more. And then once here, what we're going to do, we're going to play the up song and just raise a platform. So again, if you've got any problems, get a flute, play the up song, and things will rise like you wouldn't believe. Wow, it's fantastic. So we've played the up song. Now what we can do, we're going to help out this bingo pony for an achievement called Bingo. And the first thing we'll do is use the horseshoe with the bingo pony. We got a lot of stuff in our inventory right now. It's sort of weighing us down a bit, but you couldn't tell that. So use the horseshoe with the pony first. Do you think you could? Yay! Next up, we're going to be using the clay nose. So um, again, where have you got that big brown hard thing? Well, it's going on the unicorn's head right now. So <laughs> use the uh, clay nose. I mean, we're going to get there eventually. Kenan. Come in. There we go. Right. So that's that one. And then finally what we're going to do is use the fish bones with the bingo pony. So as soon as he's got that big brown lumpy thing on his head. <laughs> well, that's uh, I've seen that a few times. Uh, use the fish bones. And that will brush him and make him look less hungover, shall we say. There you go. Looks bloody beautiful, mate. Right. Now what we need to do is walk all uh, towards the left of the platform that we're on. We're going next to the windmill, and we're going to play the wind song. So go ahead, right trigger, use the wind song, of course. And then while the wind song is playing, and the wind, uh, the uh, blah, blah, the wind wheel is spinning, quickly we're going to use the hat and use that with the fast spinning wind wheel. So go into our infantry, use the hat, and then use that with the already spinning wind wheel. What that's going to do is get us a trimmed hat. Probably just could have cut that off yourself, but, you know, life is good. So now we can go back down to the city gates anyway. And then what we're going to do when we get to said city of gates, we're going to use the trimmed hat with the crazy carrot top guy. And that's going to get us the starter module. See, it all works out. Just about. Thanks, so. No problem. Everyone, come to the... I don't think I don't discourage. I think he's right. Thanks. Can we please? So it's off to the Brazilian graveyard once more. So of course, head all the way to the left. And I'm pretty sure we got yeah, not that much, not that much left to do here now, which is always fine, handy, and flipping dandy. So when we get here, we're going to switch to old Pekka. So again, get your pecker out, and then we're going to use the start module with the slot on the back of the Brazilian, Brazilian in the bottom left. So there is the biggest Brazilian you'll ever see, and we're going to use the start module with it. But again, we need to use it specifically on the slot, so there that one is. Damn, the memory mala. But anyway, I need the act. Like a magic word. How oh, flute knows. How are we supposed to... My father knows what it is. Well, only because Con... Yeah. And now he's sitting in Emil's prison. I wish I could... Mama Dolas. Maybe she can help... Robert, that's... Thanks. ...to repair... And... To... 
Next up, we are going to be uh, using the Basilian Tail Fur with the coolant. So get out the tail fur, the old Brazilian uh, fur bags, and then use that with the coolant, which should be on the, uh, just basically on the middle right there. And we can get some silver tail fur. Next up, we're going to switch to Roberto Rini once more, and then we're going to go back to the city gates and all the way back to the wind fountain. We've got one more thing to do in order to get the bingo achievement. Now, one quick thing I should mention, especially if you're doing quick resume, it's probably best to completely quit out of the game first, and I'll tell you why now. Just so we give the silver tail fur here to the pony, uh, what we'll unlock is the bingo achievement. Now, it was at sort of just before this point, or at the beginning of chapter, uh, chapter 4 here, I decided to quick resume, and the achievement did not unlock for a while. And I quit, I completely quit out of the game twice, came back into it, and it did not unlock for a while. So, there is that one. Try not to quit resume if you can, just um, completely quit out of the game, and then go back into it. Because right now, the bingo achievement should appear. Um, but of course it doesn't, so now I was like, ah, oh, damn it, I hope I don't have to play through this again. Just get one stinking achievement! And uh, luckily, luckily it unlocked quite a bit after but that is just one quick warning for you um just uh, about the sort of quick resume on the game the achievements may not work or they may take a while to unlock so just fair warning for you there but the bingo achievement should have unlocked for you by now and now we can go all the way back to the brazilian graveyard which is not that much left but just up a little bit left so Few more things to do then. Uh, we are going to speak to Mama Dola again because she is uh, blabbermouth number twenty-six. Of course, we've already spoken to her in the other area, but this uh, does count as another blabbermouth. So make sure to speak to her. On the right path, the monitor. But I must warn you. Oh no! Well, I wouldn't say that it was. What? How should I know? So how are we supposed to get it? Can I maybe open? I'm sorry. Oh no. Yes, I. Do you still. Yeah. Don't so. Of course. The start module is our. If you need any. We will. And then when we do speak to the old Mamma Mia. Oh yeah. Um, what we're going to do is ask her about the Brazilian repairs. Brazilian repairs. Oh, there we go. So, the bingo achievement unlocked for me here. So, again, hopefully that would have unlocked for you a lot sooner than just there. Paranoia washed over my head unbelievably. So, then speak to her about the tin can phone. So, there's a Basilian repairs first, then the tin can phone. And then what we can do, we can just completely back out. I have a question about something else. Bye. Take care. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, we backed out in the end. Right. So, a couple of things we're going to do. We're going to use the chili pepper with the tin can phone, which is directly in front of us there, right near the stairs. So, use the chili pepper with it first. And yet again, this all comes for a specific, particular reason. So, near panic and near bother now, man, you know. Use the alcohol next with the tin can phone. Not with the warning sign. <laughs> warning, I get, I get pissed very easily. Uh, use the certificate with the tin can phone. Tin can phone, tin can phone. Now we can use the clover man. And that's what we'll do. Use the clover man with the tin can phone. No man, no, no, you know. So that should be the chili pepper, alcohol certificate, and clover. And then speak to Mama Dola again. When you speak to Mama Dola here, make sure to choose the tin can phone option and then the ritual option. And you should get the achievement called Boom! Exclamation mark. Can we start now? Reminepo. I'm... Are you sure you only added the ingredients I told you to? Well, um... Don't go putting your garbage in those...
But again, this did take around a minute or so to unlock. So if it doesn't unlock, just stay right there or just, um, you know, wait for it to unlock. But it should do in the end. So, take the tin can phone. Again, we uh, grab the pepper back. When we go and talk to Mama Dola, once again, we're going to do tin can. And then once again, we're going to do ritual. Can we start now? Revenepo. Hello? Oh! Hi! Reminip, oh, my old friend, you haven't aged in days. Super! Thanks for- I mean, if you ignore the fact that I'm being held, Emil seems to think that I might- Did you tell him that Conroy forced you to build the Basilica? More than once. But he doesn't- I'm going to bring him proof that- My brain- I'm going to get you out of there, Dad. Well, I can't complain much. Except my back's been bothering me again. Itchy feet. Dry eyes. Have you tried not to reinduce for your feet? I read the. Not? Dad, I have a problem. Yeah? I have to get it working again. I inst. You mean Lorem Ipsitus Lady Mopsibi? Fizz Bindleman. Ah, right. No problem. And how are you two? Bye. Love. Now I can record my father's Lorem Ipsitus. See, mans, it's as easy as that, right? <laughs> Red. Right, let us get our pecker back out. We're going to switch the peck. We are going to use the mem uh, memo mollusk with the hatch on the bazillion. There we go. Use the uh, memo there with the hatch. It's basically just a seashell, but well, whatever floats your hatch, mate. So after this one, what we can do is switch back to Robert because our Brazilian bazillion friend is now alive. Mean looking ting mans. So, when we switch back to Robert, we're going to use the chili pepper again with the tin can phone. And we're basically at the end now of chapter 4, so we've just got two left after this one. So, again, use the chili pepper. And then we're going to use the Basilian eye with the tin can phone. You know, the only thing that's an eye in your inventory by now. There we go, look. So, I'm getting there. And again, speak to Mama Dola. Tin can phone dialogue. Ritual dialogue. We're going to receive a book. Chapter ends. On to chapter five, my boy. And girl. So, about the... Revenepo. I take it. Oh, look what... Ah. Very. The last wind monk is wait. Yes, my. My boy, I. Some good. No. A... Great. No. Flute knows. Stop. If we can convince Emil and all the others that the Basilians aren't ever again. Laura. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you do what you feel you have to do, but I. I'm sorry too. Now stop with that crying girl. Maybe I was too hard on him. No, Conroy. But you have to understand that you can't just shout. Let him search for the wind mu What's that so- No idea. Would- No thanks. I've got to drive. Uh, fly. Take care, Dola. You too, Chuck. Now, you freaking monster. <laughs> So, here is the ledger. I kind of expected it to look more- Well, I guess it's about- Wait a minute, I know that guy. That's the Gorf. Ah, <laughs> At least three years, I, I hoped you'd be doing well. But then, it's so nice to see- Then I would die. Then you would die a terrible- <laughs> Splendid, old chum. Right, so there is the achievement that finally unlocks. Now what we're going to do then is go into our inventory, interact with our book, the language of Feifei. So interact with the book, and uh, that one should be good. We now get a, a bit of a scooped out book. And then what we can do is take the panel, which is in the swamp, kind of looks like a chopping board or something. 
but take up that wooden panel anyway. And then what we're going to do is take the toenail and a gorf on the left. God damn, you dirty. Can't you just sweep them off, the, literally off the edge of the cliff or into the dirty swamp with the upside down heart shaped pig nose? Anyway, make sure to grab that and then go to the Misty Valley, which is on the far, far right. So you've got the overlook on the left there and then the Misty Valley on the right. So we're going to the old Misty Valley. A couple of things we're going to grab here. The little flag first and then the blowgun. Or the blowgun first and then the little flag. Makes no difference, really. But they are just uh, both above you anyway after this little bit. But there's no notes here. And when you grab the little flag and the blowgun, both from the same area right here, let's go back to the Gorf Cliffs. We're going to go all the way to the left and speak to Gorf. Gorf, if you played the first game, you will remember him as a very happy little fellow from the first game. I think he was happy. I can't remember, to be honest, but I do remember him. Uh, talk to him and then ask him about family and then ask him about Lucas. I thought all you had at least that... Oh, no. I even let I'd offer to show Oh no Yes Where could little Luke No oh, we could be any his brothers and sisters are quite different. Oh well that Exactly You know it's not What does he What? No <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for and then again, if you want to back out, you can. If you want to ask him about everything else, you can. But of course, we're going to back out because screw that. Right, let's go to the Overlook, which is, of course, of the two paths, two split paths, the one on the left. We are going to talk. This is another very, very missable thing. After all this uh, conversation is done, we need to talk to the tree. Very important to do that. Hello? No? You sh- Ah, uh, your goddamn pollen allergy. You just had to choose a. Are you flute? No. I'm one too. You don't have to have. Okay. If you're a fl Maybe we know each other. I mean, if we were flute noses. Ocarino something. something bow the. Robert. You're just Robert. Ooh. So if we had only known. Then we would have put out the fancy di We don't have any dishes now, you d Yeah, well, that's one of the many per Did I force you to come here with me? You said you wanted to have me- I miss- So from here, what we can do first before we do anything else is make sure to speak to the tree. Now again, it's very missable, just like that guard on the right. If we progress a little bit further in, we will end up missing this, and you'll have to play the game all over again, and nobody wants that. So, after that's done, again, I just do it twice again, you know, my little bit of uh, paranoia creeping through there, but it's always worth to do it just in case. So now we can take the stone strainer hanging off the tree. There it is on the right, so nip that one on. Nip that one in, bud mate. Now we can use the hollowed out book with the cauldron. And of course, if you don't have the hollowed out book yet, uh, just interact with your book, the language of Feifei, and then uh, that will get you the hollowed out book. When that happens, we're going to get some of this chum. Kind of looks like chum from the chum bucket. Plankton's uh, still around looking for that um, delicious Krabby Petty formula. Anyway, back to the golf cliffs. We're going to use the wooden panel now. With the blowgun, we're basically going to be making a little sailboat. So get the wooden panel and then use that with the blowgun. Or get the blowgun and use that with the wooden panel. Whichever way you prefer. Of course, I uh, I don't judge. Whichever hole you want to stick it in, it's up to you. Uh, use the little flag now <laughs> with the raft. Sorry. It's it's tiring. I'm, I'm tired now. Uh, use the little flag there with the raft. And then what we're going to do is use the raft with the pond. So get out your raft, my boy, and stick it in the brown stuff. Again, oh, no, we got it. We got there in the end. So use that with the pond, and then what we have to do to get the raft ride achievement is simply press the right trigger and play the wind song. And that is the raft ride done. Thank you. 
That didn't seem to impress the fly very... And eventually, and eventually, and eventually, we're done! There it is! Raft Ride! These rare achievements are, um, blamissimo, man. So, after that, we can now use the raft with the pond again, once we have that achievement done. Now, to catch the old upside-down pig love heart thing, we need to use the book with soup with the raft. So, get the hollowed-out book with soup, use that with the raft, and again... Once again, we're going to play the wind song, and then we're going to head to the Misty Valley on the far, far right once more. Now I have you. Now come on. So, welcome to the Misty Valley. Now what we're gonna do is play the wind song again. Oh, what? And after all the uh, Misty Valley mist has cleared, interact with the display there on the left, and then just take the other wooden panel that genuinely just looks like a bunch of angry snowmen, to be honest. Bunch of pissed off snowmen. Let's no more melting. Okay, have it your way. Right, leave the display there by backing out, and then we're going to move down the ramp. That's not the ramp, is it? No, the ramp is on the right. <laughs> so head down there, and we can take the curtain. Not only can we take the curtain right here, we're also going to take the wooden chopping board panel directly underneath us as well. Many things all happen for a reason, apparently. Flute one-inch nose. Oh, imagine having a small one-inch flute nose. Hey. Anyway, we're going to use the golf claw that we picked up earlier on, and we're going to use that with the root. So we can pick up some root. Root. The root is on fire. We don't need no groots. Let the little groot burn. <laughs> I am root. So we're going to use the root in a river tree, and we're going to use that actually with the stone strainer. So, use the root, and then use that with the stone strainer. That's going to put it on a leash. And then what we can do, we can now use the stone strainer on a leash with the pig fly. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much all you can say to that. that it, it's literally a pig who flies with an upside-down heart nose. It's, it's pretty much simple. Anyway, once you've combined those two, we've got the rescue copter. Now we can go all the way back to the gulf cliffs. And then over to the left, what we're going to do is use the rescue copter with the puddle of slime that is just chilling frantically on the rock. And then what's going to happen is, well, we've just rescued Lucas. Now if Gorf actually got off both his big chunky green butt bag, then he'd probably find him himself. But there we go, uh, just wait for us to turn up and save the day again. Huh. Yeah. Lucas! Four rocks, but only three kids! Oh, how oh. <laughs> Lucas, how many types are besides? Right, Blabbermouth29 out of 34, we're going to talk to the Gorf Kids, and you have to talk to basically the one at the top right there. So speak to the Gorf Kids, and that's going to be Blabbermouth29 out of 34. Again... Because it's just a single quote, if you want to talk to him again, just to be on the safe side, more than happy to do so, more than welcome to. If not, we can just go ahead and speak to Gorf, and then the dialogue option you need is the song option. And Robert will now learn the down song. Can I hear the dinner? Yeah, kids! Yeah. 
Fair play, no idea how he just got that from that, but, uh, well, that's what he does best, isn't it? Our old one-inch uh, flute nose. So, well, now we're going to go back to the overlook, now that we've got the up-down song. And when we are at the overlook here, we are now going to play the wind song. As a little bit of proof to our uh, stubborn companions, as it were. If this doesn't... Stop it. Oh, I... oh my. Holy him. We're so s Yeah, but now it... Ah, uh, no problem. Of course. But you don't really believe that you're king? Yes, I am the king. Listen, the king. What? I'm sure that... Oh, yeah? Because I am the king. Also, I hope you haven't pressed the left trigger at all in this game yet, or press the A button when you've pressed the left trigger. Let's hope you haven't done that. Um, otherwise, you'll be playing this whole game again. Right, speak hey, to the flute noses. Hey, friend. Now, of course, if you missed the tree earlier on, uh, talking to the tree, you'll have to play it again. Sorry, so, um, but uh, choose the option song symbols, and then choose the option rotation sound. But I then put the king looks like I never. Oh man. I really, really... Everyone needs... For example, if you can prove that you could... Anything else would be irrespo... They really want to see me... Good luck up bags. And when that one is done, what we're gonna do... Oh, well. I don't want to join. Sorry. Uh, not yet. You were gonna use the slimy root with the nose, with the big flute nose on the statue. So make sure to use the um, slimy root, and then what we're going to do is take the root string. So we're going to take the root string now. Eventually we're going to take the root string. And then what we're going to do is use the root string with the root on the tree. Sorry, I, I already took the root string earlier on. Forgot about that. Uh, use the root string with the root on the tree. And then what we can do is take the panel that was underneath the cauldron. There she is, so take that one. Actually, um, and then what we can do is just interact with the cauldron on the root. There we go, so we interact with that. And there we go, now we can take the other panel which has just come out with the statue's hand. Now it was actually at this point I accidentally pressed the left trigger because I was falling asleep. But tired, tired, hard days, as soon as you hit your 30s mate, it's over. Uh, as we just go left, we're now going to go back to the Gulf Cliffs and then back to the Misty Valley. Oh, hang on. Um, and if you forget the route, well, he automatically goes and grabs that anyway. But yeah, I accidentally pressed the left trigger to get the hints up, which I cramped myself because I thought it was all over. But like I said, it turns out as long as you don't press the A button and or you quit out to the main menu, straight away you should be golden. Thank God for that. Right, back into the Misty Valley, we're going to look at the display, panel display once more. And then, this is just basically a place in the particular wooden puzzle in the uh, right place. Now, if you want, just skip forward about 30 to 40 seconds or a minute or so to see the finished product. But basically, all we're doing is putting it in your inventory, the very right one. The very right one into the... Um, into the next subsequent one. So, when you go into your inventory, you put the get the very right wooden panel, put that in the second one, then the next very right one, put it in the third panel, etc, etc. Or again, just skip 30, 30 seconds to have a look what's going on. There she blows, man. Right, what we're going to do, um, we're going to be coming up to a bit of a long achievement. And uh, after, just after this bit. So, uh, first of all, we're going to play the down song, and we're going to play that twice. So, again, there's no way to skip these or anything like that. you just got to play it. So, play it twice. 
And then we're going to move big Robertorino onto the monolith itself. There, look at that. Beautiful. Right, now we're going to use the curtain with the monolith that we are standing on. And if you're wondering why the gameplay has slowed down, I was honestly absolutely knackered playing these last couple of chapters. Uh, but now what we're going to do, we're going to play the up song six times. Basically, keep going until we get all the way at the top and we learn the rotation song from the two flute noses. Well, I'll be a w flying idiot. He really is. Oh, I'm so s Oh, don't. Will you teach me this? Yes, of course. You put it in the lawn. Oh, yeah, thanks. You have a laundry room? Here it is. Right, great. Thanks very much. Right, here is the monolith. Now, we have to do this one. Um, so, we have to use the following instructions very carefully to solve it. I've put it at the very top right there. So, all you've got to do is just follow those very carefully. But doing this will take about five to six minutes to do, sadly. I haven't edited it down. I've kept it in. But just follow along exactly as I do. So, up five times, rotate twice, etc, etc. So, just follow the instructions at the top. And you're pretty much Gordon Mayer. Why do I do accents? <laughs> it's entertainment, Red. Red.
So after that one's done then, all we're going to do is play the down song one more time. And there's the monolith achievement. So just play the down song one more time to get the monastery a kicking, bruh. A kicking, bruh. Right, so with that one done, we can now just go ahead and enter the monastery. You know, whenever you want to stop playing, that'll be fantastic. As much as we all, all love your one and a half inch flute nose, mate, we ain't got time to be dancing around to it. We're going to enter the monastery, finally. A uh, little bit of a cutscene is going to happen, but we're going to take the arrow at the end of it. We're going to be sliced up in the head. Damn! And there we go. So, when we are awakened from our slumber, or death slumber, make sure to take the arrow. And then we're going to use the empty tranquilizer dart with the slimy root. So, make sure to pop that one in so you have some slimy root in your... In your goot. Ta-da! Lovely. Pig fly slime. Lovely. Now, what we're going to do is actually interact with the dart with pig fly slime. So actually interact with that from your inventory. And then what that's going to do, apparently, it just makes you invincible. So, if you never want to die, just get a dart, a poison dart from someone. Try and find a pig that flies, and then just use its slime. Rub it all over you. If you can find that, you will just live forever. Job done. Right, now we can enter the monastery again. A little cutscene's going to happen again. Somehow, once again, we're immune. Just sticking a bit of uh, pig fly juice on us. <laughs> Hey there, little friend. Really? Oh, um, I'm looking for that group group. What? So then, now we have to learn the language of the, uh, Leelas. We'll just call them the Taronga Leelas. So, interact with Fei Fei here at the bottom left. Now, she is a, um, a blabbermouth. So, that'll be 31 out of 34 blabbermouths. Just make sure that you do speak to Fei Fei here. And then, just interact, of course, with the only one there, the only option, which was Windmunk. And since that's pretty much not getting through, uh, we need help. Obviously, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the look look on the Foss Foss. So there's the look look in your inventory, and then use it on the Foss Foss, which of course is the flying ghost pig. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Let's move a little bit closer then, shall we? Game doesn't recognize game. So there is the Foss Foss flying pig, use the look look on it. And once again, we're gonna play the wind song, so get the right trigger out, play the wind song. I'm farting in a jar, my name is Amber Heard. I'm pooping on a bed, then telling the whole world about my dog stepping on a bee. My dog stepped on a bee. Uh, well done, Miss Turd, well done. So, after the fart song is done, uh, we're going to use the gorf claw on the right window, not the one with the projection screen, not the, like, uh, sort of glass fading type one there, the very right-hand side glass. So, you... <laughs> Did you like my Amber Turd singing, by the way? Fantastic, right? So use the golf club on there, and now we're going to play the Up song. Hello, my name's Amber Heard. I beat up, I beat Johnny Depp up, but the whole world doesn't believe because I tell the world about my dog stepping on a bee. He. Okay, job done. Now we can back out. We're going to interact. Okay, we're going to interact with the Look Look projector, which is the Foss Foss, bruh. Now, what you have to do is just choose the wheel, press A to turn the wheel, and we just have to uh, use it in a specific, sort of a specific pose. Uh, so, very easy enough to do. Uh, what we're going to do with the first, or the very left wheel, use the triangle. With the second one, um, we're going to press the A button until it's like the minus sign. The third one, the third wheel right there, use it until you've got like devil horns, whatever they are. And that one is that. That uh, It's fine. The fourth one we can leave empty. Um, 
because basically what we're doing, whatever they, whatever word they say, I say wind fountain, they say blah blah. We know exactly what they're on about. So next, we're going to to uh, put it as this big rectangle. Second wheel is going to be a, um, a line on the right hand side. Third wheel is going to be the line on the left hand side, and the fourth one is going to be a pointy triangle. Hell of a beak on the dude. But anyway, that one is Asposion. Or an explosion. Uh, oh, if you're Amber Heard, an ass explosion on your bed. Um, right, for the final one, empty with the first one, a dot and an arrow on the second one. Um, flap, flap, that one's not needed, that will just happen, uh, so don't worry about that. But this second one then, dot and an arrow, third one is the big oval, and the fourth one is the triangle, snort, snort. A strawberry apparently is a... Okay, that'll do, that'll do. So we're basically at the end now of chapter 5, and we've got roughly just under 20 minutes, or just over 20 minutes, sorry, left to play now. Uh, so back into the projector there, talk to Fei Fei. Now we have to choose the following topics in this order. Make sure to choose Wind Fountain first, and obviously it'll say right there anyway which one it is, so choose the Wind Fountain. Then choose the Asposian, the as <coughs> the as explosion. Soy soy? Mmm, me like soy soy sauce. Gun okay. gun soy soy sauce. And then for, fi the, for the final one, choose the straw bit option. And that is the end of chapter 5. Bit of a cutscene is going to play out. And then we are on to the final chapter. Hooray! The last wind monk. You have to take the throne and. Oh. No. No! That's not. No! That can't be him! Gong Gong Soy Soy! Are you sure? Don't you have one in a. Gong Gong Soy Soy! Dabdam! Who's going to save us, Oja, now? Great. I can't even do that right. Maybe in 20 years? Then you can officially become a wind monk. If there's even anything left of us both. I can't take care of the only thing I ever took. I don't have any I I still hear it. Robert, you idiot! Robert, the fact that someone is dumb- Robert, I told you, you- But it always looked so yummy. I always had to fight for scr- <laughs> Shut up already! I spent my life living in the basement of a cat- You ungrateful little work. Conroy, you were the only f I always wondered why you decided- Do you really believe- even if I had left you with them, you- I'm not a fool. You're a monster. You. Go away! <sighs> I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Poor little girl. Ah. Why couldn't you have just told- Why did you send- If I hadn't called you out of that, you would have run to the end. But you're also a part- So you did all that. Why didn't you- there are some... Oh. Wow. What? But... Put him down. Well, I mean... Boy, you... You might be able to rule all of... But he's just so... <sighs> Wasn't there an execution? Oh, damn. Well... Thanks, Mama Dola. Take care, little one. I'm sure we'll see each... What are you doing here? Hello, I think this is the perfect spot. Do you know what? Um, sure. My store. Oh. Would you like? I don't really have. Hey, what do you think about selling stuff? Are there a lot of people? Yeah, they're all good. <clears throat> I mean, no. The rest will all be. Ha! You're appealing to the. Wow, I wonder where look You brain dead? It can you not understand? Uh Laura! She has to. 
It's like I've been telling you this whole time. Conroy built the Basilians himself to take power over Asposia. He treated you all like fools from the very beginning. Enough! His Eminence, Abbot Con You built that Basilian head yourself! Why would I build a Basilian head? The truth is sitting right under your nose, but you refuse to see it. You just don't want to know the truth, do you? Enough! Oh my... You will perish with them. You will all rot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But you can't just... They threw me away. Conroy was... Conroy saved me! And now I... And when you bring Conroy back, what... Oh... Then, then I'll be... What? Emil? Emil is a flute! I have to hurry. I have to tell the people everything, Robert. Oh, I can't do... No! Robert, pull yourself... Who's the king? You're the king? What? Technically, no. I'm Emil is a flute nose. I have to. He's going to be holding a speech. So that's mad, isn't it? So the meal turned out to be a flute nose after all. Right. What we're going to do is interact with the adventurous tent, and we're going to get a stapler and a bag with <coughs> quote unquote sneezing powder. Okay. Uh, take the sticky lollipop there from the bin, from the trash bin. Kind of tacky, but you got to do what you got to do when you're a bit peckish. Uh, go into the trash chute. Which is at the top of the screen there. And then what we're going to do is take the banner. Now, I didn't walk too far forward. I'm not sure what would happen. The banner is right next to us as Robert. Um, but I couldn't see myself. I was too busy focusing on Flute Notes Meal. Because that's his name, silly mans. Right, take the banner and then we can enter the trash chute. Now, we're coming up to Blabbermouth32. So, interact with Uncle Lobo here on the left-hand side. Now... This is Blabbermo 32 out of 34, but we cannot skip this, and we have to use the specific conversation choices for the missable achievement called Story Wizard. So we have to get this right the first time. So, um, I choose Emil first. There we go, so choose Emil. So remember, we cannot skip, we have to get this right the first time. If you get something wrong, again, quickly back out. Uh, completely quit out of the game and then come back to this. Next, choose Tunnel Under the Fountain. Tunnel Under the Fountain. The Fountain of... Muff! Love! Ah! Oh, jeez, I've just killed a whole bunch of ears with that one. Sorry. Right, after this little bit of conversation, we are going to choose Water. So eventually, there it is. So choose Water next. And then up next, we're going to choose the Magnet Mountains. Damn, that sounds pretty scary. Uh, but choose the Magnet Mountains. And then for the final one, we are going to choose the Fiery Ferdemon. Which, these just look like new Pokemon, to be honest. But choose the Fiery Ferdemon. And that will, again, get us Blabbermouth 32 out of 34. And the Story Wizard achievement. Well, I found the treasure. but what? And I buried it. Oh. Yes, in... Why is it that the easiest things to... Okay, let us take the pinwheel. No, sorry, no, we're going under the wind fountain first, sorry. So go under the wind fountain, the newly uh, newly located trapdoor. And then we can take the pinwheel, which is on the very right-hand side of the steps. So you'll have to walk there, pal. Sorry, we're not doing it all automatically for you, apparently. Uh, so grab the pinwheel. And then we're going to go to the Wind Fountain Square, which is the ladder just above where we are. Uh-oh. I better not let anyone see. Dear brothers and sisters, an era like those in simpler times. Oh, that doesn't... I've got to show everyone that he's... Right then, so what we're going to do, we're going to grab the staple board, which is directly next to the guards and where we are. So make sure to pick that one up. 
And we've only got the two Babble Mouths left to do, and the first out of two, well, they're both here. What we're going to do is talk to Mrs. Schmitz. A uh, little tiny conversation is going to happen, nothing much. She's just going to be all like, Oi, mate, get your butt out of here. You only got a two inch afloat now, she's not good right here, you, mate. You know? There. Yeah. Right, now we need to talk to one of the guards when their spears are pointing towards each other. So just get the uh, conversation, the bubble up ready, and as soon as the uh, spears are pointing towards each other, like now, then so press the here. conversation. This is actually Blabbermouth 34 out of 34, so now we are done, thankfully, with that. So basically, the reason we've done that is that the spears will freeze. Job done. Now, when we do that, we can use the banner with the spear. Um, by the way, if you didn't get it when the spears are pointing towards each other, just talk to them again to unfreeze them, and they'll keep going. But they have to look like that towards each other. The banner goes on, and then we can go <laughs> after this bit. I like pretzels too. Fair dues, bro. Fair dues. I'm with you. Right, now we're going to go under the wind fountain, go to the back alley, and then back to the trash chute so we can go back to the office. Emil's office. A pretzel's office. So, we've only come in here to take a whiz right by his desk and get a missable achievement. Uh, but we won't whiz by his desk, that's fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a jar with the balloon, which is in the bottom left corner of the screen. There it is, so make sure to pick that one up. And then, what we're going to do is use the bag. So, we should, of course, have a bag, which we picked up from the adventurer's tent. The Super Adventure Club. <laughs> Chef. Chef told you it's a bad idea to go there. Use that with the balloon anyway, so use it the bag with the sneezing powder with balloon. That uh, gives us a balloon with sneezing powder. Tidy. Now we can use the balloon with the sneezing powder with the paper bag. Now what you're supposed to do then is use the bag with the balloon with powder. Um, but my achievement unlocked for me right here, so... Eventually it unlocks, so I went to start it, and... Eh? Eh? Okay, there it goes. So yeah, using the balloon with the sneezing... The balloon with the sneezing powder with the paper bag should be enough to get you the, the achievement. If it's not, you, can, you then have to use the bag with the balloon with powder. It's a whole lot of words right there, but um, hopefully anyway you've got that one. As soon as it's done, uh, we can just back out. Uh, back out. Um, if, it, if it doesn't work first time, just keep trying it. Just keep using the bag on the balloon if it doesn't work. Just keep going. Um, anyway, from here we're going to go to the back alley. Now we're going to use the glass jar here with the water fountain right at the back. I can definitely so make sure to do that. And of course, that is how you carry water and stuff. Good job. Go back into the trash chute to get to uh, the Subway Sandwich Meals office. No, in fact, we're not quite done. We're not quite done. A few little things to do here. So what we're going to do first is use the stapled board with the fire beetles in the fireplace. Damn, that, they look like toasty beetles. Get in my belly. So there we go. Use the staple boards. Whole bunch of staplers going to pop out. So, of course, what we can do then is use the jar of water with the staples. Cool them down. So, time to cool off a bit. Staple. And then when that is done, now we can use the staples with the stapler. That's how that's how it usually works. So use the staples with the stapler. Job done. Look at that. God, you're like a friggin' pro. Friggin' pro you are. Right, now it's time to go back to the trash chute under the wind fountain and then go to the wind fountain square. All right there, not too far from the end actually now. So what we're going to do then is use the loaded stapler, <clears throat> and we're going to use that with the <laughs> with the banner rather than the guards stapling the old yarp narp, <laughs> the the yarp narp guards nuts together. No, use the loaded stapler there. There we go. Finally got it. As soon as you walk right by it, apparently, use that with the banner. Hail. Hail the meal, hail a Chinese meal. 
succulent Chinese meal. Now use the lolly pop up with the pinwheel in your inventory. So both of them should be there. So use the lolly and then that sort of gives us a pinwheel with a lollipop. Yeah, it's pretty much what it says on the tin. Now we can use the pinwheel with the lollipop with the mount which is at the very left of the left guard. So again you may have to do a little bit of walking. Again, because the game doesn't allow us to do that, but the mount right there, just above our head. So we use the pinwheel with the lollipop. Job done. So, after this one... Now no one will notice me. We are actually going to speak to one of the guards again. As soon as you talk to the guards, they will start moving their spears again. Now we have to talk to the guard when the spears are pointed directly away from each other. So as soon as they start moving it, wait until they are both basically at their own faces. And again, get your conversation bubble ready. There it is. As soon as, that, as, soon as it's that far apart and they're stretching the pretzel bountifully, then we can talk to them. And then we're going to use the bag with the sneezing powder with the banner. Oh, we're going for a bit of assassination attempt right here. I don't know how Emil can't actually see that we're on the stage, by the way. A the bit of a dong, bar dong bag, dong bag, isn't he? Hey, guards, good. Huh? You heard? Oops. What was that? Assassin. Find the traitor. I better get out. Kind of reminds you of Vladimir Putin, doesn't he? The old uh, dong bag, or dong bag Emil. <laughs> Emil Putin. Yes, trying to kill people just for the sake of it, because that's just what dong bags do, isn't it? So anyway, you grab Conroy's head. There we go, just at the bottom of the stairs where we just were. Now we're going to take the loud speaker, which is the loud speaker hanging from the hook. Next, we're going to use Conroy's head with the music note stands, which is basically just between where the head and the speaker was. Um, the kind of shelf-looking thing right here, if you want to uh, call it that. But we're going to put Conroy's head on there anyway. And then what we can do is play the up song. If you're having trouble, get it up. Oh, yeah. And job done. With that done, now we can go to the back alley. Now what we're going to do then is return the stapler to the adventurer's tent. That will get us the return to center achievement. So, if you um, gave Molly back her screwdriver in chapter 1, the syringe back to the medicinal cabinet, or the medicine cabinet in chapter 3, and now the stapler here in chapter 6, you will get the return to center achievement. If it doesn't unlock, you have probably missed one, and sadly you may have to replay the entire game just to get back to this point. Or you can just leave it and have one achievement left off this game forever. Which is probably a more likely scenario, that one. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you've got the Return to Center achievement. So what we can do is use the loudspeaker with the drain pipe, which is just under Uncle Obo's window. And then talk to Uncle Mobo himself. So what he's going to do is start playing a song. But then again, as far as... I found ancient music. Oh, that brings back. Don't. I'm sitting in jail, about to. And when Big uh, Hobo Man starts playing, what we're going to do is go straight under the wind fountain. We're going to talk to the drain pipe here in the top left corner. So, again, when you uh, hot spot that schniz. I was actually just listening to them for a while, to be honest, but yo. Know, <laughs> hot spot the schniz. Uh, speak to the drain pipe. And he's going to start playing the down song. Sorry, got a bit of a ooh -oo right there. So again, choose the down song option. Now, while he's playing the down song, what we need to do is play the up song. And the head is going to be crushed together like an absolute banana under your nan's butt. If that's even such a thing. Uh, but still, we're going to play the up song. The head's going to be crushed. And in fact, we've just got literally a couple more things left to do now. And that is the end of the game, finally. Hooray! So, um, in fact, we've got three more things to do. The first one is take the stone dust. Now, I know a lot of people <laughs> who 
think of the word dust and think of something completely different. Naughty people. So take the stone dust, use the stone dust with the balloon. So you've got that uh, <coughs> Friday night dust and Saturday night dust. Put it into Vladimir Putin's balloon head. And then finally, use the balloon with the stone dust with the hose. And the hose, of course, being the dangly thing directly in front of us. You know, try not to get... Ah, oh, it slapped me in the face. Ah, oh, oh. Anyway, <laughs> use the balloon with stone dust with the hose. And that is the end of the game. Now, what you should get, providing you didn't... Or if you accidentally did press the left trigger button, that you didn't press the A button... And that you spoke to absolutely everyone in the game, you should get Chapter 6, Wind of Change, Mr. Wise Guy, and the Blabbermouth Achievements here. So just make sure you do. Uh, yep, so that'll be the second one. To be honest, it's always a relief. When you think you've messed up or something, the relief is better than, you know, when you've been holding in a dump all day and you're going to absolutely crap your pants. That is a lot better relief than that. So there we go. I... <laughs> And hopefully you as well have got all three achievements there. When he's done, you can carry on watching the cutscene if you want to see what happens. It's kind of a fun one. It's kind of a good one and a great way to end the game. And apparently series because we haven't seen one since 2017. Um, so yeah, always worth just watching that if you want. If not, we can just press the A button a couple of times in order to skip the cutscenes. Because we do actually have one small teensy tiny achievement left to grab. And it's actually a 1G achievement, which I know how much you love them 1G achievements. Because it just, surely that just that bleh, messes with your mind a bit, doesn't it? So you can either go back to the same game um, that you were just oh, on, or you start a new game, whatever. I just went with the new game, so all we're doing is um, hitting the LT button this time, so as soon as we start. Yeah, all good, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, suck your mum, here we go, job done. So, press the left trigger and then just keep spamming the A button, backing out, then press the left trigger again. You may have to do this like six or seven times for it to actually unlock, I don't know why that is. But if you press the left trigger, press the A button, keep spamming that, B button, keep going back and just keep doing that for just a few more seconds. And there it is then, guys and gals. So, that was a very fun 1000, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide. And that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget to chat with me on my socials. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Big shout out to everyone, by the way, who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just such legends. This 25 out of 25. Job done, mate. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. So it was a very good uh, free game. Can't beat a free game, especially when it only takes a couple of hours for a thousand. But there we go. I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.